And here we are, I think, hopefully. Uh, some of my settings have been a little bit weird. We had to do some troubleshooting before this whole party even got started. So I really hope everything is working as it should be. Um, also, it's, I'm notably doing the thing where, like, I can turn my body, but I always have to... My head always has to look straight on. I'm not entirely sure what is up with that, but granted, I haven't really played with the settings for a little bit. I think they got reset when it went too late, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna ignore that. But I think we are... Oh, wait. One last thing. One last thing. One last thing. Why you ask one last thing? Because... I, I'm kind of a scatterbrain a lot of the time, so we're just gonna hope for the best. I'm definitely not fiddling with half of my settings right now. Absolutely <laughs> not. All right, all right, let's go. Let's do this. Let us actually, oh, uh, we got, we gotta do our, um, we gotta do our checks. Alright, so y'all are gonna hear some echoing. Alright? Alright, so y'all are gonna hear some echoing. So uh, let's go to let's go to this view. So uh, let's go to let's go to And look view. to the left. So we go up up. And look to the left. Oh wait, it doesn't so actually work that way. Up, so down down up down. So down down up down. I think it worked. I think we are good to go. Let us now actually properly be yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Let us begin. Hello, my name is Max, also known as Odek, to welcome back to Not Evil Within 2. Or, well, okay. Someday, someday, we will. We will get to Evil Within 2. But that's not what we're doing today. Today, we are playing Fatal Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. So... What the heck is this game? Where did it come from? Well, simply put, in the year of I forget, um, a game came out. Ah, oh, I should have actually looked into this. You know, this is a failing on my part. I never actually asked why this game was only ever released on the Wii in Japan. But recently, along the same vein as, I mean, I'm guessing 2008, but um, recently, along the same vein as Main of Blackwater, it came to PC. And I'm really excited for it. I love the Fatal Frame games. They hold, they, they have a unique distinction to me that I think is important. And that's, um, the Fatal Frame franchise series is a game series that for some odd reason, each game has gotten incrementally better, which is weird. Cause like, okay, so, um, let's say, okay, let's, let's take like Silent Hill, right? Or uh, Resident Evil is a better example. There's been some ups and downs, all right? Like, I loved Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, but maybe there's some diff different details I didn't like or I did like. And then we hit, uh, like, Code Veronica, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? I hate this. And then we got to Resident Evil 4, and I'm like, I love this. And it's like Resident Evil 0. I'm like, what the fuck? So, um, there's been ups and downs. But Fail Frame has stayed fairly consistent, which is interesting. Like, it, it's not as, like, um... I don't know, it's like, it's like the turtle, you know, it wins the race slowly. But this game came before Made in a Blackwater. So as much as it's a remake, I'm not sure how it's going to be the same or different. Uh, in terms of objectives, it's the E button. In terms of objectives, play and have fun. We're not going to worry about completing this. Um, all right, normally in games, I always like to play on hard. Trust me when I say this, okay? Because I played on the Wii U. I played uh, Main of Blackwater on hard. It's not worth it. It's not. It just makes the fight slow and painful. It's like Uncharted. You don't you don't play Uncharted on higher difficulties because it doesn't actually add anything to the experience. It just makes the combat harder. So we're going to play on normal. Adjust the brightness so that all three ghosts are visible. Well, I see two ghosts. Oh, shit. <laughs> Like, like, okay, wait, hold on. There's one on the table. There's a kid. Where's the third? There's <laughs> one under the... This game is a work of fiction. Any similarities to actual organizations, events, or persons living or dead are purely coincidental. Every time I see that, all I can think of is, like, the first character you see is Barack Obama. Thanks for saving the village. <laughs> it's, like, something stupid. Yeah, I don't know anything about the story of this game. Other than I think a ritual's involved. And probably a portal to hell. And... Remember anything, Madoka? 
I don't know if we can change the language to English. No, it was all so long ago. Well, as per tradition, this is the place, right? As per tradition, overly complex, skimply dressed girls, you know the one on the left is going to be us. The one on the right is dressed far too reasonably. Listen, Misaki, was it really such a good idea to come out here? I mean, we've come all this way, but we haven't remembered anything. Except that you have a weird sheer top and then like a tank top. Just. <laughs> the, uh, you guys heard that, right? You saw the same thing I. You saw what happened to our friends? We're next. Hope I can change the language to English, because, um. Yeah, see, the, that's a weird one, but. Um. What the fuck? What the fuck? Um. I'm remembering. Is anyone else? Uh, the visuals are not quite lining up with the audio. Uh, if you guys are thinking like, oh, let's see. By the way, Zach, how's it going, man? It's good to have you. But um. You know, if some of you are going like, oh, like, oh, clearly, like, Max's stream is lagging. Something must be up. No. Prelude blossoming, Madoka Sukumori. So I guess we are the reasonably dressed girl. That was on sync. What was up with the cutscene there? The sound? You can use it with alt press to strafe. Okay. Um. Uh. Looking around, use IJKL to move the camera? Fuck that. Oh, no, no. The mouse doesn't work. Your objectives may update as you progress through the game. You can check your current objective from the menu screen. So if you're unsure of what to do next, give it a look. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? What the f I have to, oh, this is, why, why is there a delay? If if I didn't know any better, I would say we don't have this game installed locally. Like, it's that kind of... Wait, hold on. It's that kind of a delay. Like, what in the world? Hold on a second. It's in locally ready. Um, which is a special folder I have, or a special categorization I have. Are you, are you freaking serious? I can't use my mouse? You're on PC. Your, oh, that is frustrating. Okay, uh, we gotta. Damn it, my control. No, it's just set an Asian difficulty. <laughs> All right. Um, I was I honestly thought I was gonna get away with using a mouse because that's what I did for the last Fatal Frame, and already. Oh wait, hold on. Ready camera, interact, open menu. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, okay, let's roll with it a little bit. What's with the stutter? Like, I know my computer has some programs running, but normally the VTuber software, the VTuber software is normally what stops before the, um, the other shit. What in the, what is this stutter? That's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Oh, it must be locked. I. Uh, oh, this isn't. Ba I thought this was the basement. I was gonna say like, let's go, let's go into the basement, because you know, Dead by Daylight has taught us well. And also, it seems like you need to validate the files. Yeah, this is gross. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I know we just started the stream. I think Zach's right. We're gonna go on a small break while I get a controller. I'm gonna tell this thing to validate the files real quick because I did just just install it. So um, yeah, we're gonna be right back because this is gross. All right. Uh, bloop.
Man, just starting the stream and already we're having issues. Man, you, you know this is my channel. All right, so hopefully, hopefully, files have been successfully validated. I grabbed a controller. <gasps> Ran up and down the stairs a lot. Let us hope for the best now. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone for their patience and say a prayer. Because... <laughs> Just a little. Oh. Config loaded gamepad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that means good things. All right, we're gonna start the cutscene again, and we're just gonna see if it's um, like in sync now. Cause yeah, that was super weird. Unless this whole game's gonna be like that. Cause if so, oh. oh I forgot to look to see if I could change the language to English. Oh, well. Alright. I'm gonna fiddle. I'm gonna test something in a second. But I'll do that once we get back to the to where we were before. Why would you want to change the language? Like, I. Okay. The, I have the same opinion on this as I do with anime. I don't know Japanese, and I've tried, and I sucked, and I need to, I need to try again, okay? The sound's in sync now, so fuck yeah. You nailed it exactly, Zach. But, um, yeah, like, I don't know Japanese, so unfortunately, as much as I can appreciate the quality of voice acting, like, you know, the seriousness and tone of their voice, I, it's white noise. That's the unfortunate thing. It's white noise. So, yeah, I am a filthy dub watcher because even if the dubbing is... I do. I do. It doesn't mean I don't watch... Jeez. It doesn't mean I don't watch Subdever. It doesn't mean I'm, like, emotionally opposed to it or anything. But if it's an option, I will watch dubbed because that way I can more appreciate... The voice acting that is there and i mean like quality of voice acting for dub has gotten like way better over the years okay uh, i don't like that every time they okay this already feels a lot better i don't like that they um okay so l1 is <laughs> a quick Acquaint and I, I I know what you I know what you meant. You meant acquaintances. We are all still good acquaintances. Oh well, I appreciate it. But um yeah, if it's an option, if it's an option, I will choose dubbed because it helps me to I mean to put simply, it helps me to more connect with the um I'm gonna raise I'm gonna raise the sensitivity a bit. Already I I already I'm I feel like I need to raise it up. But um it helps me to connect to the characters more when I can understand them. It's not me going like, Ugh, I can't stand it. But like, it just helps me to connect better. Now, if I knew Japanese, or if I was like learning it, I would probably feel way better about watching it in Japanese. Right, yeah, like I remember, um, okay, so... Zach, I think I may have told you this story, but I'll tell it to everyone else. Um, so I used to only watch dubbed. Like, only. And um, the anime that actually broke that for me was Fairy Tale. Because I was, like, really enjoying it. And then I think it was, like, halfway through a season. Our controls are pretty slow, but that's okay. It's a Fatal Frame game. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill with something real quick as we're talking. But, um... And like halfway through a season or like maybe it was like right at the start of the next one for whatever reason and that looks a little better doesn't it that way i'm like okay so hold on yeah so i'm looking straight forward but if i turn i look to you guys does that look a little, a little too far of a turn that might be a little too far of a turn right that might be a little a little wink that was a really good wink <laughs> That might be a little too far of a turn. Hang on. Because I actually have to go to the program itself. Oops. And do that to fix. Ah! There. How about that? Yeah, if I just turn myself slightly. 
I think that looks good, doesn't it? But um, yeah, they basically like right at the beginning of a season. I don't remember what season, but the uh, English voice acting kicked in, and when it did, it was awful. You could literally hear the echo of the room. Now, Max, you must be exaggerating. Like it couldn't have been that bad. No, it was awful. It was just dreadful. It made me hate it so much. And um, then I switched to subbed, and I was okay with it. But I didn't like that. Um, I had to, you know, I was okay with reading, but it doesn't mean I wanted to. Max, is it because you're afraid of reading? Yes, it's because I'm afraid of reading. You caught me. But um, yeah, that's what broke. That's what broke me of it. And um, so yeah, whenever possible, I now watch things in dub. Because of that, and it's the same reason video games. Like it, it just helps me to connect with the character more. When I know what they're, oh. when I know exactly what they're saying, what? Examine. Old screen doors are piled up. They look broken and usable. I used to watch dub, but it just don't feel the same anymore. Well, I mean, aren't you like a master? Oh. Isaki. Aren't you, aren't you like a master of the language or some shit? You're, you're leagues ahead of me. Like, last I checked, you know, last we decided to. Why would I need to know how to run? Why would I? Why? Why? Why would I? Why would I need to know how to run? Just as a general sidebar, why would I need to know how to run? While running, the camera will automatically follow behind you. Use blank or blank to perform a quick turn and face the opposite direction. Why would I need to know how to run? Why would I need this knowledge? By the way, uh, opinion. Does it look better? Does uh, does does the V2 model look better when I'm like head on or yeah? Does it look better when I'm head on or does it look better when I'm uh at angles slightly? I'm kind of I'm kind of debating it now that I'm looking at it, like. Very slight. Yep. Yeah, we can we can edit whatever we want. So, I just don't want to take away time. But yeah. Recently, I've been watching. Um, I think I, I talked about this to you, Zach, but for everyone else, uh, Spy X Family, which at first I was a little. The flashlight ate her. Son of a bitch! I just run over and smash the thing. But um, is that Misaki's flashlight on the? Is that Misaki? Misaki. It's not Masaki. It's Misaki, I think. Kore. Kore. This flashlight. Ah, I strolled myself. Your flashlight illuminates dark areas and helps you investigate your surroundings. Use blank to shine the flashlight in the same direction as the camera. No, it's not Misaki Misaki's. She's... There she is in her stupid Misaki. outfit. She'll never replace who's or knows whose name I already forgot from okay. from Main of Blackwater. She'll never replace her in my heart. Ah, uh, I can't swing it wild. I can't swing the flashlight wildly like I could in previous game. Oh no! Like I could in previous games. Damn it! I've got to find Misaki. By the way, I have no idea how good this game is. Just so you know. Like, I went into Fail Frame with high expectations and loved it. I have no idea if this game actually sold well in Japan or not, so this is gonna be fun. Head on, head on, you think? Okay, okay. I trust you. You may say we're acquaintances, but I trust you. All right, uh, okay, hold on, hit this button. So, I'm a little man, hello, hello. And now we are back to now we are back to normal size. Right, right. Okay. Yep, so now now we are head on. Okay. Misaki? I can't read. That's in Chinese. Oh. To the second floor we go. This is not the second floor. I go oh. They want, oh, sinister masks are on display. I can't read this noodle language. Max, what the fuck? I know, I know, I'm, being, I'm, I'm joking. 
Already though, I love this atmosphere. Like, Fatal Frame games, for those of you who haven't been around for when we played the other ones, nail atmosphere. They nail the small, subtle things. But, there's, there's always like a lot of scares that's like, blink and you miss it. Nerdy. Not like that though, she's fine. Like, excuse me, nurse! Nurse, do you have a key? My friend just got, like, possessed and, like, started walking somewhere. Nurse? Oop. Nope, come on. Nurse, I request... How do you run? I was just running before. My little dainty knees can't run for shit. Nurse, please! I require assistance. There was no one at the front desk, so I let myself in. Nurse? Nurse, where'd you go? But, um... The downside to the Fatal Frame games is that, like, they're very good at subtle horror. They're very good at slowly creeping you out and, like, working on this atmosphere and this fake-ass wall right here. To separate from the rest, it doesn't budge when pushed. Clearly, you need to pull it. But, um... The problem is, though, is that depending on the situation, you don't notice 90% of the scares, you just, or you just get annoyed and you ignore it because they're subtle scares, so it's pretty easy to ignore it. You know, it's not Five Nights at Freddy's where they, like, you know, with the same energy as Yahtzee Crawshaw pointed out, as a cat jumping out of a bin. Damn! Rude as shit! Bedside Manor's ass! But, um, you know, with the same energy as a cat jumping out of a bin, it doesn't grab you and shake the shit out of you. But, um... Fucking rude! But, um, they try to get you subtly, and depending on the situation... You can just totally freaking miss it. You can miss shit like it's really creepy like that. Or a lot of the enemies are like. <laughs> or a lot of the enemies feel like uh, cheap or you know that kind of a thing. Oh, oh! ma'am, please, I need a key. I'd ask that you not be so rude. Some, the current's part to reveal the room's exterior, but it's too dark to make anything out clearly. And this flashlight is ass. It uses one AAA battery, okay? I need the big honka motherfucker that hooks up to a car battery. Like, come on. Beep. Beep. All right, fine then. Look here, lady. I am not, I am a young independent girl. I am not afraid of fucking elbowing through glass, kicking it through. These little high heels I got that are cute, you don't know what they're made for? Fucking kicking. All right, that's what they're made, that's what they're made for, bitch. Like, I am, oh wait, hold on, is there a door there? Seriously, why can't I run? These boots are made for ass whooping is all I'm, yeah! Go into the room with the creepy ghost that told me to leave! Oh. Oh. Wait, there's no one here. She must have went on lunch break. I hate how the paper sounds like eating. You can examine the various objects on your environment. Objects that can be examined will glimmer when you shine your flashlight. Oh, nice! I like that. Okay, so I could just kind of do like a... Do a little... So then, so there must be nothing here, cause nothing shimmered. Unless it, what do I gotta like? Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. If an object shines after you pass your light over it, you can reach out with your hand to ex. Oh no! <gasps> Stand next to the icon. The icon will be, uh, of the object the icon will be placed in the corner screen. Press and hold B to reach out your hand. Examine the object to stop reaching out for the object. Let go of B. <sighs> they did this in Main of Blackwater. And I had a love-hate relationship with this mechanic. So maybe it started in this game. Oh! Something's written on the paper. I put the key to the museum on top of my desk. There are a lot of irreplaceable objects in the museum, so please take care to keep the door locked at all times. On top of my desk. Oh, I got I got the blue. I got okay, it's under me. It's it's under me my VTuber thing, but um. Oh, oh, oh. It's very, it's very reactive though, which feels nice. That's me trying to juke out any ghosts. This is the key for the room. Um, okay, Misaki, 
Misaki went into. Are you going to use the arrows to the fire? Oh, nice. Lovely. Lovely. We, we like that. <gasps> Ferris! Hey! It's been a while, man. How's it going? Uh, Jail mentioned you were going house shopping. How's it going, man? It's good to see you. And cleavage camera. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not really displaying it that much. But you know what? Modesty. Um, something about imagination. Leaving it to imagination. A man of culture, I see. <laughs> Alright. Whoa! Wow, I hate it. Wow! This is hellish! Fucking run! Run, girly! Fucking run! Am I not hitting the damn run button? Fucking run! Okay, I'm sorry. Is this not the real run button? Please tell me I'm hitting the run. How do I... <laughs> Fuck you! What if I don't have internet? Ah! Fuck! These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they will do. This is okay. Pardon me, ma'am. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> Par, excuse me. Thank you, Par. That music was... I can't remember. What? Agreed. Shit. <laughs> Shit. 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 Oh my goodness. You better learn how to go into a fucking sprint, Missy. Like, I know you got those little slippers on, but you can run those little slippers, right? Like, just trust me on this. That music. Oh, God. Silent Hill 3 flashbacks. That was freaking unsettling. I love it. Like, the moment I heard it, it's just like fear. Fucking fear. This honestly might be one of the daintiest and most pathetic runs I've seen, though. Because, like, he was walking normally. Yeah, that's my run. Not really making anyone proud with this. Just kind of, just kind of going. Unfortunately. All right. If any bitch tries to get in the way of my friend or sister or girlfriend, or I'm not actually entirely sure. I think friend. I think it's platonic. Any bitch tries to get in our way, I'm gonna clicky click this flashlight so fucking hard. Uh, yeah, I'm moving again, actually, tomorrow. That's nice. Renting a place about four hours north from where I am now for a bit. Uh, hold on, I'll read, I'll read what you said in a second. Hi, Missy! The moonlight is beautiful! You just stay there. No. Oh, she's still there. She's still there. Girly, I know you're scared, but like, flight, flight. Oh, that is creepy as sin. She ain't gone. God, we are a defense. Oh, I love that painting. We are a defenseless little girl. Uh, estimated age. 15 or 16, but knowing Fatal Frame, a solid young 18. Um, fuck. Okay, let's let's read. Let's read. Misaki. Misaki. Uh, was the one I was playing on, but hopefully move after will be the last one for at least a few years. Yeah, I was saying you've been moving around a lot. So I've been to MIA from a lot of places. I hang on Twitch because I've been getting ready. No, no, no. It makes, it makes perfect sense. I'm not gonna sit here and berate you for it. It's just good to have you back, man. I just hope everything is going well. A collection of old books. Books are for nerds. Alright, um... 
okay, I got the blue meter, which is under me, so you guys can't s Oh, ah! <laughs> I'm gonna bait out any ghosts. Actually, I need to, like, do that without fear until a ghost hits me, so I know what to look for. Uh, the name Kunihiko Aso is written on it. Those with spiritual potential can see shadows, forms invisible to the average person, the souls of the dead, vestiges of thoughts left behind in a place. My camera obscura was created to capture these clues to the spirit world, and I now have a chance to improve its capabilities even further. I hooked it up to a rifle! In the course of my research here, I've discovered the materials used in mass making on Regetsu Isle can improve the camera's obscura ability to capture the shadowy forms on film. I've also come to believe that the camera obscura holds a power greater than ever, even I have ever expected. This is the power that can obscure to affect these shadows and photographing them. This game, the Fatal Frame games have a bad habit of repeating themselves a lot. It is something like the exorcism that those spiritual potential refer to. It is my experience as I am that have brought me to this bold conviction. I've decided to donate a camera obscure to the owner of the hotel. I did not explain why I was donating it, but I cannot help but feel that there will come a day when the island will need the power of it. Convenient. I only hope that I am wrong and that such a day will never come. This typewriter must be. Ooh. Break it with your elbow. Smash that shit. Smash that shit. Smash that shit. Reach out. Reach out without fear. Reach out without fear. I love how it looks. Now, I will say, mine looks better. I like mine. You guys may have been wondering, why in the world do I have this thing? And it's because prop humor. Mine looks better. I'm just saying. Thank you for that. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, good. We got 07 infinite ammo, which is awesome. Oh. Is that a face or is that a... Oh, perfect scare. Oh! <laughs> Eat shit! This build developed so fast, motherfucker. Prepare to get strobed, biatch. I love how your eye... I am so pretty. Prepare to eat... Sh oh, uh... When a wraith appears, you can seal it away by taking photos of it with the camera obscura. Press Y to take out the camera. While holding the camera, press R2 to take a photo. Press and hold L2 while aiming the camera on a ghost to lock onto the ghost to keep the camera aimed at it automatically. Nice. Oh, yeah? Ooh, shit. Okay. Okay. Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Da -da -da -da. Bitch! Okay, so it's based on, um, so that meter up top tells me the direction, but it's based on time. Interesting. Alright, it's gone. Was that a person? Uh, no we don't. Now we have a weapon. Now we have a fucking weapon. We can do whatever we want. We're basically gods now. Like, literally, we're, like, fuck ghosts. We can take them on. We can do whatever we want. What the fuck? I killed the ghost. I see the pixels. I see what looks like the imprint of a face. What the fuck? Fucking. Fucking be that way, why don't you? Ooh. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Oh shit. Oh fuck. That lady with the raccoon eyes is gonna be a problem. <laughs> I'm just holding my hand to my chin like, huh. Yo, I could be wrong, but I think I'm gonna die. You know, I think this is what death is like. You know, I was told it would be like being greeted by an old friend. No, this sucks. This hurts way more than I ever could have imagined. This is awful. <laughs> My soul is being drugged down into hell. I should have gone to Sunday school. This is ass. Oh. Yeah, bear shits in the woods. Oh. I, I won't read it. I won't read it. I'll let them speak so there's not bad dubbing. Yeah, drink some, drink some juice. そして父のことも私たちが神隠しにあった以前のことは何も思い出せない。うん。一緒に見つかった4人も。But I was only with one other girl. 
There's one time at Chuck E. Cheese's. I remember I got high score on the punching machine because I learned how to. Whoa! This isn't the Chuck E. Cheese's! I learned that the punching game was really easy to cheese. Jeez, that is some intense music. Uh. She doesn't look like she's dancing. Oh! So much as like flailing in pain. Holy shit. Don't mind me, I'm drinking drink. I'm out of boat! Creepy ass memory. I love it. My name is Jason Bourne. What's the one me versus? I don't like it because it's blasphemy, but it's like, Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne! <laughs> Marie and Tomo, Marie and Tomo. Fatal Frame, Mask of the Lunar, oh. Oh fuck. They were among the five of us who disappeared all those years ago. Man, I was right. I was right. We did die in a horrible way. Madoka and Masaka. Went to Rogetsu Isle and never came back. Oh. So I found my mom! I lost all my memories, but I found my mom! That's awesome! My mom doesn't know shit! We're gonna mess- we're gonna run this shit! I'm gonna get two cameras, I'm gonna dual wield their asses. I'm gonna hook it up to a light gun. It's gonna be great. My outfit? Suitably silly. Yep. Oh, visually, this is so good. See, I mean that. I mean that. Visually, this is awesome. Not as much of a fan of the controls so far, but we'll live. Phase one, the summoning Ruka Minizuki. Who's ready to catch these hands? Who's ready to notice that my boob physics just jiggled for a second there? I am so damn pretty. Press R X to start snap mode. If you find an interesting location, try to take a picture. Here you can freely position and manipulate characters and ghosts in order to take the perfect picture. I am very pretty. Once again, a solid young 18 because that's the only way this game ever actually operates. Oh look at the angel. Oh, you can you can you go. Oh. Seep noise. Ooh. Instant. Uh. Hold on. Can, can I? Ah, no. Okay. Max what? Ooh, I like that. <gasps> Sight. Oh, that's lame. I, I, always, I always hated that one because it's literally just like you just pick a random ghost and it's like ramp. <gasps> Broken neck lady! It's the same picture as from the other game. Um. Hold on. Let's see if we can. Uh. Can I like. How, how do I how do I how do I take a picture of we? How do I take a picture of? Oh, perfect. Um, where'd she go? <laughs> Just like where where'd she? Oh, I'm sorry. Her. Uh... Can we mod the boob physics up to two hundred percent? Yes, as long as you mod mine as well. For the memes, I want those things to be weapons of the. <laughs> oh, she's very like object. <laughs> Like she, that she's gonna choke someone out right there. <laughs> she's gonna choke someone. Dying. <laughs> Damn it. What the fuck? There's a cat. I'm sorry. Hold on. 
sink into the floor. <laughs> Goodbye. Damn it. Why the... Why the... You want me to mod your boob physics? That's the thing I'd ask Megan before performing unlicensed plastic surgery. Look, I've joked before about the matriarchy when it comes to VTubing. Man, if I have to be a girl and I have to have boobs the size of like 18 watermelons, I'll, I'll, I'll consider it. <laughs> if that's what it takes to make the audience happy. Oh, that's actually, that's actually really cute. Um, hold on. Okay, I have the plain clothes, school uniform, Japanese clothes. Oh, she is very pretty though. Like object. Okay, let's, let's, let's quit fucking around with this. I can't get over the boob shake though. Oh, you know we're playing a fatal frame game. Because, oh, instead of numerals, the faces show. Ooh, that's important. Oh, oh. I kill him. I remember a photo. I know this place somehow. I mean, if you want to be a Futani, you do you, homie. Look, if I'm going to be a girl, I'm going to be a girl all the way, all right? Like, oh, wait, I don't have a camera. Hmm. I'm defenseless. It was totally right here, though. Oh, shit. Wait, oh. Oh. Well, thank you. Oh, well, well thank you. <laughs> Zach immediately is like, I know exactly what you're talking about. And, um, yeah, I support it. We're all, we're all men of culture here. We know what's up. Max, what what is that? No, don't don't question it. Guys, what's a futinari? Don't ask. Don't Google. Do not Google it. Don't do it. If you Google it, I am legally free of repercussions. This is on you. If you guys don't know what it is, just uh if you question it, Google it. <laughs> just uh look, I'm just I'm just saying, if you Google it, it's on you. A pen holder and a bell are positioned on the reception counter. Slam that shit! Oh. Well, I tried. For flavor, add rule 34. As you know, <laughs> I tell the audience that this is all a joke and do not Google. If you do so, it's at your own risk. <laughs> yeah, allow me to emphasize, don't. And if anyone tells you that there are 34 sacred rules to anything, they might, maybe, might not be telling the truth. But maybe they are. But they probably aren't. But maybe they are. Alright. My run is still so freaking slow. Alright, uh, let's fiddle with this shit. Let's go. Uh, a, dull a dull pain has laid heavy in my heart ever since I laid eyes on some Rogetsu Isle looming ahead of us. Mostly because I was seasick. Why does the mirror so <laughs> make it difficult for me to breathe when I don't remember anything about the time I spent there? Misaki could be right. There might be something here. When she suddenly told me she was going to Regetsu Isle, I followed her out of concern. Misaki was so determined to come here, it was frightening. She still won't tell me what this is all about. She listened to the radio and had like a weird ass dream. And uh, shit got weird. Fatal Frame 3. Actually, yeah, Fatal Frame 3. The island is getting closer now. Misaki is looking at it coldly, as though her gaze was the only thing pinning it to the horizon. The only thing keeping it from slipping away into the night. With Marie and Tomoe already gone, I couldn't bear to lose Misaki as well. Whatever. Nope. Oh, this is... Hot damn. I know those girls apparently, but not entirely clear on the how or the why. Oh. Perfect! Carly, get back over here! I know you can't run away from me. Your legs are too slow. Also, I saw the police report. Your eyes were ripped out. Which strikes me if no one ever comes here, how do they know that about the police report that your eyes ripped out? So, um... Concern. All jokes aside though, the Fatal Frame games are always weirdly pervy. Like, I'm not just saying that to say that. Like, they always are weirdly pervy for just about no good reason. It's always in subtle ways. It's not like, they don't sit there and shake boobs in your face. No, it's always weird, subtle ways. And like, we endless boob physics and questionable ages is one of them. And by one of them, I mean 60%. Hope to watch try maids from Maine Blackwater. Hey, uh, Asa Museum. Madoka, uh, Madoka must, might be in this room. Are you in this room? Shit, she's not in this room. Warm books. Like, give me that camera. Give me that camera. Give me, give me the fucking camera. Give me the fucking camera. 
Why can't I take the fucking camera? There's a fucking camera. Give me the fucking camera. It's the fucking camera. Why do I have to reach out for it? Why do I have to reach out for it? <laughs> there was once a great disaster on this island which almost destroyed it and caused Regetsu Isle to become feared as a place close to the underworld. However, it's recovered from that disaster. It's no longer closed off to people. For, uh, someday, there's going to be a Fatal Frame game where we're not right outside the Underworld. Like, instead, it's going to be there's some source that's calling things to it, not the Underworld pouring out. Someday. <laughs> As an outsider, I had anticipated resistance to my visitation. To my surprise, the chief welcomed me gladly to the island, seemingly in the hope that I would help introduce its native culture, such as the Kagura Festival, where they stab babies, and traditional Rogetsu engravings of the picture of the stab babies. I'm sorry, not stab babies. Little girls. It's always little girls. And crossed the ship to the outside world. I came to get to house to look for materials from my camera obscure because of the unique indigenous culture, the folklore of which is based upon the man. In the folklore, the sun represents the outer form of things and the man the inner. The man, therefore, represents memory, personality, and the soul and man. Believing that the soul is still connected to the underworld after the body dies, they say that the man is a symbol of that world as well as a gateway into it. Fucking Naruto. They have a Kagura festival where the souls of the dead return to this world, and the most important element of that festival is the mask worn by the participants that suck out your soul. The mask worn by the main during the Kagura is the point of contact between the living world and the world of the dead. The underworld, represented by the Mon, because fucking everything is represented by the Mon. A mask that connects to the underworld. There are many kinds of masks on, my island, or on this island, and I hope to greatly advance my paranormal research by investigating them all. Great. Give me the fuck out. Who the fuck? Someone just took part of my soul. Fucking give me that shit. Reach out for it without fear. It's mine, bitch. It's mine, bitch. You're not scaring me away from it. Misaki and I are making our way towards Regetsu Hall. The dizziness I felt in the way here has only gotten worse since we arrived in Regetsu Isle. Writing it down has helped me calm down. And the air here is deathly still. It feels so hard to breathe. There's something about the smell of this place. I've had memories rekindled by certain smells and music before, like when I heard the tune Ruka wrote. I remember things, but not clearly. Sensations of textures, bursts of pain, vague things that can't be expressed in words, but this time is different. I feel a dark mass rise up inside my body. Maybe that pe it's going to penetrate my head. We should have waited for Ruka. I'm Ruka. Fuck. Whoa! Rude! Fucking rude! Flashbang the fuck out of her. The filament show at the top side of the screen indicates supernatural presence. It turns red in the presence of wraiths and yellow if the ghosts are specters. Aren't those like the same thing? Well, I guess wraiths are like angry and specters are more just visual. When other forces are present, it turns blue instead. Item filaments, which you guys can't see because it's behind me. The item filament shown in the lower right corner of the screen. That's what I am. Close blue when you are near an item or something that can be examined. Well, fantastic. Near something that can be examined. That's not something that can be examined. You're a lying sack of shit. Um, oh, ooh. <laughs> it's too much fun to do that. Uh. Islanders found dead. At approximately 4.30 p.m. yesterday, the captain of the Obumaru docked at Rogetsu Isle reported the depths of multiple Rogetsu Islanders. All the bodies were found with their hands covering their faces, leading the police to fear an outbreak of some kind of infectious disease. Rabies. The no survivors found! The police plan to, to continue the search for these islanders, whose whereabouts have yet to be determined while recovering the bodies. Long sentence. Despite everyone on the island being either missing or dead, there are no signs of any conflict or foul play. Faced with nothing to go on but the sun disappears to the island's population, the... Uh, the country of Japan has decided to use this as a testing ground for nuclear weapons in the hope to, you know, give them a proper rest. A cremation, if you will. The police remain baffled by this bizarre incident. Everyone agreed universally. They were like, you know what the best way to deal with this shit is? What if we just nuke it? And everyone's like, that seems a little disrespectful. But also, I don't want to go there per... Ah. I am the ultimate... Ooh. Whoa. I am the ghost. Alright, so it seems like it glows blue, even if I've already ex- Oh, I guess not. That's weird. Ooh. Oh, wait. 
Oh, no. Oh, okay. Nice. Spirit stone flashlight. Wait, 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 wait. I can, I can, I can work my. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Um. Huh. Ch uh huh. So wait, hold on. So do I get like a super flashlight later, or like? Oh shit. I gotta touch it. Mainline scientist Professor Kunihiko also has arrived in Regetsu Isle. The professor, having a deep knowledge of folklore studies, wishes to study the legends and traditions of our island. He will also be present to observe the Regetsu Kaguro to be held tomorrow. Hopefully this will lead to many more visitors coming to us from the mainland, assuming Japan doesn't continue to nuke the island. Also, it's been announced that the room where the professor is staying at Regetsu Hall will be made into a museum in his honor. That's where they keep the nuclear launch codes. Alright, bitch, open the fucking door. I'm on your ass, alright? We're gonna have words. Why won't the door open? It's not even locked. Oh shit. Um, maybe if I take a photo. Shit. Uh. Hold on, hold on. Is that like a good enough? Oh, you yeah, just. Is that. Did, 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 did that do it? Do I gotta be closer? Do I, do I gotta like the door handle? Do, do I gotta. Oh, do I do do I need to like be far away from it? No. Um do do I um Maybe I gotta be like real close. Real close to it. Oh a little finicky. Ugh. Something has appeared in the photo. It shows five masks hanging on a wall. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember the five masks. Oh. Whoa! Excuse me, mister. That's not my reflection. I think we're gonna have a tussle. That's when you kick the door open. You're like, even if it's a ghost, you don't give a shit. You just kick it. You're like, fuck you. Show dominance. Can't check the corners. Hi. That was honest. Honestly, that was really creepy. Oh yeah, bitch. Oh yeah, bitch. Oh. Go, 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 eat shit. Alright, charge that back. They oh, whoa! Whoa, that actually got me. Nope. Yep, back the fuck off. Bitch. Oh, damn. Alright, sensors. Sensors indicate she's somewhere right in front of me. But I don't know where. Uh, now we're gonna test to see how reliable these sensors are. Oh, oh, oh! Damn, I missed. Okay, come on, come on, charge up, charge up, bad boy, charge up. Shit, that thing goes way fast. Lock on, lock on, lock on. Witch! Trying to come up with something cool to say, but I can't think of anything. It's gone. What was that? It looked like a nurse, but is this the power of the camera obscura? Is this the power of Ultra Instinct? Yep, hold on. Oh! See that shadow there? I thought that was something coming to grab to stop me. Yeah, we've now officially hit the part of the game where they're like, all right, bets off. You know how to fight. You know how to look for things. You know how keys work. Fuck you, it's on. You know, it's on like Donkey Kong. Let's do it. You know, as far as we're concerned, you're an expert. You're an adult now. You have the weapons. The only thing you're really missing is knowing how to heal. Other than, other than that, fuck you. Do you guys remember the, where the five, red, five masks are? Cause I don't. Maybe it's um. Hmm. Maybe it's upstairs. Hmm. I can see my shadow, but not the shadow of the stairs. Whoa. 
Oh, that was creepy. That was actually really creepy. Oh. The Regetsu Kagara is by far the most important traditional festival in Regetsu Isle. It is held once every 10 years. The highlight of the festival is at the Kagura itself, taking place in the Temple of the Lunar Eclipse, a maiden known as the Vessel. Again! And five girls known as Organ. Again! Why not use the Kagura as a chance to visit or get to island experience its rich history? That's not weird. That's not weird at all. Oh, shit. Now we told you how to heal. We told you how to upgrade. We told you how to open doors. Like, yeah, you're fucking on your own now. Like, you can't, like, you have no excuse at this point. Oh, there's three masks. There's three. Oh. Shit. Sometime I'm gonna pass by this window and there's totally gonna be someone outside. The oh, it's gonna be the tall lady again. Damn it, it's I, I will bet you just about anything. It'll, it'll be the tall lady again. For those of you who don't know, there's this ghost. I think it's showed up in two or three games that it's literally just this like 15 foot tall woman and she's just insanely creepy. Like, the way they do her animations and stuff is absolutely beautiful. And by beautiful, I mean fucking horrific and haunting. No, this door doesn't... Shit don't open here. Like, it's just super, super... <gasps> Fuck you, child! It's just super well done. And by well done, I mean awful. It's just truly, truly awful. Oh, shit. You might come across specters during your exploration. If you succeed in taking a picture of them, they'll be added to the ghost list. You'll also be able to trade any photo points you obtain for items at safe points. Oh, so it's so if only um if upgrading things is by crystals, then that must be our money for items. Maybe what the ice cream is for upgrades. Nope. Ooh. Eerie. Piano. Well, I'm gonna assume it's totally safe. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna assume it's totally safe. I have no reason not to think it is. I also, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nurse who misplaced the key. Uh, where the fuck is it? Oh, well, good thing she misplaced it. Right here. Oh. Oh my goodness, it tells you where the key goes! I know it did that before, but it's still so good. Procedure for opening second floor entrance hall gate. Activate the switch on the panel in the storm and the entrance stairs. Ensure the numbers total up to 13. The game must not be open without permission from the nurse station. Thank you, God, that it shows you exactly where each key goes. That is so good. I don't think Fatal, or I don't think Bane oh, 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 get fucking juked. Oh, eat my ass. Suck it. That's right. Oh, a projector. I'm sorry. I, it's, it's not that impressive to do that, but every time it happens, I, I always get like really cocky. Ooh. <laughs> you can press X to an upgrade lens if you have enough spirit points. Nice. I'm gonna play piano and you can't stop me. Fuck you. My hand. <laughs> I need to write something. Doesn't matter what, gotta keep writing or I'll di Oh, she's afraid she's gonna be forgotten. If I stop writing, I lose it all. Gotta keep writing. It's no good, I don't know, it's all over. It's getting closer. Melting mom, help. Melting mom will help me. Stop it, stop it all of you. Stop shaking me like I'm a toy. Ugh. That's. <laughs> That's creepy. Shaking you like a toy. 
This is so the spot. Well, okay, no, hold on. The spot before had um, a fourth mass that was like melty. Uh huh. Yeah. Wait, it's one of the last Oh, it's. You're gonna give me that child? Fuck you! Nope, get back here, you little shit. I just opened the door, he kicks me in the balls. Oh. Hey, it's all good, man, it's all good. Four hour drive is nothing to sneeze at. If I get a death set up quick, they may be around next week. Yeah. Otherwise, rest of your stream goes well. Well, thanks so much for coming, man. It, it means a lot to me that you're able to, it means a lot to me that you're able to make time for that. Yeah, I hope the, I hope the move and everything goes well. It's, it's all pretty exciting. Oh, um, the general plan is, uh, more Wolong on Friday, and then at some point in time we'll do the, uh, the, uh, Resident Evil 4 S-Plus playthrough. Fuck you! Good stuff. Yeah, thanks so much for coming, man. It's always good to have you. Oh, shit. Money came out of this thing. Uh... Last Rogetsu survivor dies. This morning at 10 a.m., the last remaining survivor of the mass disappearance of Sidon Rogetsu Isle died in hospital. The irreversible physical and mental trauma she sustained has been, has been identified as probable causes of death. Lovely. I've grown a lot as a person as a result of um, learning that. Good. Great. Love it. Just what I needed. Awesome. Where's that freaking kid? Where's that freaking kid? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Fuck you, kid. Oh yeah? Eat shit. Boy standing beyond gate. Alright, they said that the uh now saving. They said that the uh this thing had to add up to thirteen. Oh great! Oh good! 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 Exam! Oh oh good! Why the mummy? Why? Oh no no! I didn't want to leave! I didn't want to leave! I didn't want to leave! You couldn't solve my puzzle because you're stupid. No, I was trying to. Okay, the panel has several numbered switches on it. Ah, I see. Well, if we just want to equal 13, why don't I just do this? That doesn't add up. Hold on. Hold on a second. What? Hold on. If this is down, it's 24. Oh, I just realized the numbers changed. Ah. Oh, shit. I did it! I'm a freaking genius! I'm so smart. That's a lot of machinery to do that. Actually, nah, it's just a rail on top. I'm so freaking smart! Uh, I wonder what it is. Uh, yeah, maybe it's a mannequin. Yeah, sure, just keep just keep telling yourself it's a mannequin. Oh. Just keep telling yourself it's definitely a mannequin. Regetsu investigation stalls! Two weeks in the event. Ah, my voice is. All oh, right, I had to drink some water because I'm reading a lot. So I'll just everyone read this to yourselves, just like you're in school. All right. Expression stars. It's weird. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Just kick it. If it sounds like your friend, 
look, everyone's kicked their friends in the balls, right? Like, if you kick it in the balls and it sounds like your friend, then you, then congratulations, you found one of them and you just saved their life. But no, now we'll never... Something about this game, every time I play it, it's like everything just freaks me out. Uh... Moshi Moshi! know what I took unless it was oh oh procession unless it's the herbal medicine or the camera so <sighs> sorry hit by the yonis Others. Um, I just heard. Did you just lock the door? <laughs> Look, man. Either in or out, kitty. All right. If you if you lock if you don't go in, we close the door. All right. It's not that big of a deal. Right. One of those bodies is so gonna become a person at some point. I can feel my bones. So this is an item here. What the fuck? Right? An item or something to. Ah, uh, sorry. An item or something to examine. So. Where is it? It's like right, it's like right here. Oh shit, there it is. I was gonna say, it's like right here. All right, in or out, kitty. I'm choosing out. Go! Oh yeah? God, I love her woman greeting Ruka. I love her eyes. And then she says, welcome back, specifically. Like, she knows who I am. And she ain't some like, oh, this is just a pain and anguish of someone on loop. No, she just acknowledged who I am and said, welcome back. Eat, like maybe she's saying welcome back to someone else. Maybe you want to make that argument. I think I I think she knows us. Don't look at the face. If you look at the face, you lose it all. Can't see my face. Can't see my face. Just like the other two. Great. Oh, ah. Of course, my first instinct in this game is just like the moment I see it, take a picture, which means I'm gonna be looking at faces. So, uh, so I'm gonna die. But like, the camera's like the primary way for me to fight. Like, why wouldn't I? I love those fixed cameras. You know why? Why wouldn't I? I'm gonna take that egg. The egg is mine. The roof's full of all kinds of strange things taken from around the building. Because someone here is a fucking hoarder. Ooh. Oh, that's so a trap. Ah. Why am I so yawny all of a sudden? Oh. Oh. April 6th, rainy day. I found another thing to keep for myself today. It's a mask from the dinner hall. They always take me away when I'm looking. They know I don't like it. I have to get the pieces back again. 
I put the mask I found today under the bed so no one can find it. No one will take it from me this time. If they do, fuck, I'll get them. Every time there's a space or like it like censors it out, I just assume it's the word fuck. Yeah, fuck it, I'll get them, eh? Whoa! Sup, grudge child! When a wraith attacks, you have a chance of capturing a fatal frame. If you time it correctly, you'll take a fatal frame, which grants bonus effects. Fatal frames stun the enemy and inflict a huge amount of damage. While the enemy is stunned, you can string together multiple fatal frames into a combo. If you equip the alarm upgrade, the fatal frame icon at the top of the screen will start flashing, let you know when to snap the picture. Or you just guess that shit because you're that good. Sup, bitch? No. Yeah, I just backed the fuck up. Just, I, I it wasn't a fatal frame, but. Nah, this is fine. Oh, shit. Get the fuck off me. Oh. Wah! Wah! Alright, so we can't fully rely on the uh, little radar thing. We still need to be careful. This isn't right. Someone took it. If I don't hurry, I'll start disappearing. Oh, God. Who did it? Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. Disappearing. Give it back. This whole game is literally summarized by, um, if no one remembers, you do. This whole game is literally summarized by, if no one remembers you doing something. Yeah, if no one remembers you doing something, then clearly you no longer exist. You only exist for as long as the effects that you have in the world are around or noticeable. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna, I killed the I killed the ghost. He's never coming back. Yeah, it's a myth. Yeah, I will. I will return the rotting map. I will. Fuck you, child. I took your shit. Got I just run over and kick it. I'm like no. Shut up! You can't stop me! Don't fucking scream at me! You're gonna kick it. Just run over and just... Meow. Sorry, just go... Meow. Shut up! I'll throw a rock. Shit. Long-ass commercial break. Well, that was unsettling. Alright, um, looks like that's way back. But, um, I'm gonna take a small break. I know we already took a little bit earlier, but, uh, yeah, I, I need to take a small break. We'll be right back. So, bloop.
Ah, there we go, and we're back. I'd like to say thank you all so much for watching and hanging out here. I really appreciate it. And let us continue with our quest. Grab that shit. Hold up. Oh. oh shit! Alarm! Alright, uh. For the Spirit Stone flashlight, that has got to become. They keep mentioning the Spirit Stone flashlight. I'm not gonna lie, I'm. Cool. Piano sound every time I. Every time I hit that. Alright, uh, lenses. Heck yeah. Blast is like the only one we ever like need. What's blast? Blast is almost always just fucking power. That's it. It's just power. Alright, uh, maximum number of spear, improves film loading time, increases spear points you see from taking photos. Uh, I don't know how important money is yet. So let's just start with. Ch let's start with charge. Because um, charge is hard to argue with. Just the ability to fire faster, that's always good. What's that? What was. Is... Yeah. Oh. oh, I was gonna say, it's like, what? Oh, nice. I uh, did I try to open this door? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. Eh, yeah, whatever. Whoa, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I love your eyes. It's, they're so good. Nope. Oh, yeah? Bitch. Yeah, that's right. I'll do it again. I will do it again. Shit, she's in the walls. She's in the walls. She's in the walls. There. Oh, bitch. That's right, that's right. That's right. What are you gonna do? Uh, bitch. Not even gonna give you the chance to hurt me. You're not worth it. Eat shit. Alright, let's go, let's go. Later on, you know she's gonna be absolutely horrifying. Like, she's, she's just gonna, like, kick our asses like you would believe. All right, um, uh, hold on, where's the, okay, so I'm just curious about this, so, hold on a second, uh, uh -huh. it shows two save points. Now, I think this is where we actually need to go, but I was curious if the game would actually tell us that. Nope, it does not. Okay, so we need to cap a right. All right, so it tells us keys, but it doesn't tell us, um, what was that? It tells us keys, but it doesn't tell us where to put things like that back. So we still need to, so we still need to remember details like that. Wait, hold on, is this the... Yeah. But I can't, I can't go through that door, so... Nope, nope, so clearly... Ooh, I love that it has current location, and then it has wherever the fuck we are. That's nice, I like that. Alright, so we can go down the stairs and cap right. Yeah, that says like current location very explicitly. I like that. But I feel like we're about to be in a fight. So let's actually take this time to not only save, but <gasps> costumes. Um, I could have bought the, uh, I could have bought the, uh, <laughs> perfect. I look nice with glasses. But, um, I could have bought the deluxe edition that like gives us a bunch of other stuff, but um, I figure nah. 
No, let's. It's it's just outfits. Oh. It reveals locations of the Huzuku dolls. They on. Oh, so those must be like the collectibles. Well, we only have thirty-four thousand right now, so that's herbal medicine. So we can only get er we can only get ammo and health, which is fine. Nothing to exactly write home about, but it's fine. Kind of hoping, like, eventually they'll just be like throwing enough. Every time that sound goes off, it, fr it freaks me out a little bit. Because that's the kind of sound that plays when doors are opened. Which means something is coming in or out. Either way, that doesn't feel good. Now saving. Mm. Why would we be saving? Why? 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 Why is that? Why is that important? Why would we need to save? Mm. Little. Mm. Why are we? Mm. Why are we saving? Really, I mean this, uh, Batman. Why? Why? Why are we? Why are we saving? Why are we saving? Slap that bitch on. You're welcome. Satan was inside of it. Oh. Thank you for telling me where that is. Oh, I guess I didn't need to go the long way around. Oh well. Um, I guess we can just leave through this door. Oop. God, those like... Every now and then they're just... Okay. Every now and then, um, those sounds going off just freak me out. Whoa! James Sunderland! Hey, bud. Man pressing against window. That's weird. Moving on. Oh my goodness, there's a man pressing against the window. Shit's crazy. All my jokes, all joking aside though, this game actually does. Or actually, I should say this game, but like. Ugh. The Fatal Frame games themselves actually do really freak me out. There's something about them, I don't know what, that like just really truly unnerved me i'm not just saying that to say that i really do mean it like something about this game genuinely makes me afraid that i'm gonna pee my pants like it, it's open where are the bitches at first we investigate the room fuck the loot we investigate the room kick it kick it kick it Roll to ki oh. Hi! How's it go- Camera out, camera out, camera out, camera out, camera out! Madoka. Oop. Madoka? Madoka? Oh, I hate this. <gasps> oh! Oh, 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 hey, you got something on your neck. Hey, you got something on your neck. <gasps> Madoka. Oh. Madoka. Oh, sought the shit out of her. Who are you again? Who are you? <gasps> wow! Slap! Whoa! 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 What the fuck, girly? Oh shit, you're not real anymore. You're also not showing up on the scanners. Oh shit, she's gonna go straight through the... Oh, she's throwing books. Whoop. Bing. 
Bing! I killed a girl. Damn it. Or my sister or whatever she was. Oh, I'm a bad person. I'm a bad person. What have I done? But damn, do I look pretty. Eat shit, Madoko. <gasps> but I know who I am. I remember who I am. The boatman remembers who I am. I have a receipt in my pocket. I better start writing things down so I don't forget them. The mom. I'm gonna make a bet. No one else thinks that joke's funny. No one does. But I'm gonna keep making those kinds of jokes because I think they're funny. Even if no one else does. Nope. We're next. What the fuck? The five of us who were spirited away all those years ago. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? There must be something here. I know it. Damn, I'm pretty too. What the fuck's your problem? Boo. Go back. To Rugetsu Isle. Now, I then moved to France. Where, other than the open borders issues, things are pretty good there. It's just don't go to Paris, alright? Just stay in the stay in the farmlands. Man, I know when creepy spirits from the beyond tell me to do shit. Hi. Alright, maybe I'll listen to her. Maybe I'll listen to her. I'll cons I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Have you forgotten? No. Shit. How did I get here? Shit. Phase two, resonance. Mis oh, Misaki Aso. Oh, are they gonna carry over upgrades? That's us take a camera. Better pick that shit up. Better pick that shit up. I brought with me. What's it doing lying on the ground? I entrust the prototype camera to the descendants of the Asso family as proof of the validity of my research. It is with this camera obscura that I first successfully captured a powerful spiritual force on film. It proved that my theories were correct and represent the first step I took in my unprecedented journey. I have yet to put this to death. We should also be theoretically possible to capture the forms of the deceased on film. However, the camera obscure has a strong effect on priests, mediums, and those who are able to sense the inconceivable. Hence, I forbid its indiscriminate use. Nah, I just can't take a selfie with the Pope! The one that shows them? I better start taking pictures of everything! Like the Pope! But don't care. Pope, you better get over here! Find Madoka. Okay, so now we're a new girl. Now we're a new girl, but there's something I want to check first. Like, first and foremost, right? <sighs> Fuck. It doesn't keep the upgrades. So now I don't know if I need to upgrade it or not. Nice. It's painfully loud. Ah, it's actually giving me a headache. Go towards the headache. See, where could that be from? 
I, th I thought. Now it's getting quieter. Okay. A new patient will be admitted to the second floor. Her name is the Yaku, and she will be in room 207, Orchard Moon. Ayaku will be admitted on the direct introdu introduction of Director Hayabara, so we must do everything we can to ensure that her stay as planned as possible. I'll step for her to take the utmost care in dealing with her. Hmm, that must be Raccoon Girl. What the fuck? Ah, I apologize for being Yanni. Uh, is it in here? Shit! Okay, hold on. Uh. They write the code for the door somewhere and give each other's clues while we're to find it. Scroll this quite through us. Uh, numbers written anywhere, eh? Fucking lap. <gasps> Fuck. Say that's Madoka's voice. If a nurse called from room 203, maybe Madoka's there. Uh, find the code for the panel. They said it was written around somewhere. Boys' room. It's probably somewhere down there, but hold on. Oh hey. Uh. And uh, excuse me, Madoka seems to be bullied by uh, other children age. If you come across any children bother her, please discipline them. Aiba, due to the recent death of Tomoka Tanuma, patients are removed out of the air locked room. Come out, she broke out the door. So staff to enter her will need to apply force to the door. No, show no reaction mirrors. So it uh, shows no reaction mirrors. So she disappeared to but in conjunction with the mercy of her memory loss, Rika's move here extremely stable. She requires careful observation. His kleptomania is getting worse. He doesn't respond to warnings. Please report any thefts on discovery. He gets angry when dimes are taken to return to their owners, so please try to take them without him noticing. Intensely aggressive. Oh, cause problems with their cool pranks. I myself have had my ear cut by Yoko. Extreme caution. Fucking lovely. Oh, shit. Well. I say let's start let's start over here and well shit all right room 203 that's actually the room we need to get to well I guess they we need to find the accommodation first but I have no idea where I haven't, I haven't seen your writing of numbers yet, so. Hmm. 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 Seriously, every time I hear that. Oh! Every time I hear that, it like fills me with fear. Because I'm just like, oh fuck. Nope. Girls looking in the room. Oh, if it's where the children are hiding it, it's probably in that one, um, that one door that I try to. Hmm. No, no, I don't, I don't want to leave. I don't. Er... It says there's something to examine over here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I think I've seen this somewhere before. 
me I have seen a clock somewhere. It's actually right outside here. Hmm. Oh. Well. Here we go. All right. There's scratch marks near his feet where something has been erased. I feel strong in presence. Eight three nine five. Awesome. Okay. Huh. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm stuck on that. Ugh. All right, Max. How do these games make you sleepy? No clue. Uh. Shit, what, what was it? 8395? I forgot. Whoa, shit! Nurse seeking help. Jeez, she is, she is creepy and I love how she looks. Alright, well. Uh. Huh. Oh. <sighs> did it, did it. Thank you. Awesome. Too late, I'm dead. Um. have some kind of special ability because a bunch of things oh oh shit yeah i have to get the fuck off me did it did it that's right oh Whoop. beautiful Beautiful. Problem solved. So it seems like uh, one girl has the has the camera outlines focus on the moon. This girl has it almost written on like a calligraphic writing or runes, if you will. Which is pretty cool. Hmm. This is fine. Alright, All right, uh, this is 203, so I think this is the room she should be in. Kick the door! It's over. It's all over now. Was that Madoka's voice? It's locked. Kick! Kick! Fireman kick! Fuck! Kick! Start kicking the shit out of it! Uh... Sup, bitch? Oh, God! Whoa! Move, move, move! Whoa. Ah, wasn't perfect, but fuck it. No, ah, damn, her reach is longer than I think it is. Shit, they're ambushing me hard. Whoop! Stop going for my ankles. Oh shit! Shit! Hold on. Thank goodness that like auto locks on a little bit. Okay, I think that's one. Watch your hands, raccoon girl. I think you're the girl that likes causing pain. 
I can see it in your eyes. You're beautiful, beautiful raccoon. Oh, melty eyes. I know you want to do it. Fine, fine. Eat this normal. I ain't afraid of just hitting you with normals. I can't quite tell where she's gonna come out of though. Perfect, perfect. Back up a little bit, give us a little bit of space. Oh, there you are, there you are. All right, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Sup, girly? Sup, girly? Come on, you're so pretty. Ah, shit. All right, well. She's doing a charge, she's doing a charge. All right, fine then, I'm just, I'm just gonna hit you with normals. Not gonna let me take you on. Fine, be that. If I can, if I can be that way, then I'm just gonna hit you. All right. Well, first, let me let me grab my victory pop tart here. Thank you for the victory pop tart. I appreciate. Oh, great. The fact that you're eating this means I'm no longer in this world. I'm the last living member of my family. My mother died giving birth to me. My fate saw to it that both my father and brother met fatal accidents. The memory of my family and the guilt of being the only one left alive was what kept me going. Now the sickness is taking even those small comforts away from me. My memory is the only place where my family still yet lives, yet there's nothing I can do to stop this thing from getting inside me and killing them all over again. I can't stand any longer. I remain alive as the people inside me are killed. The most frightening thing of all is the, is the thought that, you, that before long I won't even be aware of what is happening to me. I lose everything, yet I feel nothing. My family faces death after death, yet I feel nothing. This is why I'm choosing to leave this world while I have what little memory remains inside me, while I'm still me. Awesome. Oh. I killed the associated ghost. I have no idea where that is. Room with books. All right, well, noted. Oh, it, it is the same. Hold on a sec. All right. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Room with books. Room with books. Okay, how hurt am I, by the way? Uh, I'm decently hurt. I could probably... Do I not have any healing items? I don't have healing items. Awesome! Ugh, it's right. Well, I don't know why the yawning is just kicking my butt so much. It just is. Alright. Okay. 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 It says there's something here. I really don't know what. No. Uh oh, we're back we're back in this kid's room. Okay, hold on. Uh huh. Alright. Well in that case, okay, so can't enter that room. Hidden room. Lift lobby. So is end. That's none of these. Archive. It's probably y'all. It's the archive room. It's a hundred percent the archive room. It is so the archive room. All right. So in that case, we need to go basically back the way we came. Fuck you, kid. We basically need to go back the way we came and just retrace our steps. Yeah, I know there's something special going on there, all right? I get it. it says it's about to be something more special when he eats your face. Oh. God, like other games, when you hear that sound, that like, whoa. It's always like something is there, but this. Oh. 
Fuck you! Fuck you! She's like, is that all you got? Weak shit you got going there. I think you could have done better than that, honestly. Just saying. Weak shit. Oh, you're going back to the study for the 15th time? Oh, something just fell over, fuck. Yeah, this game has just been constant, constant looping. Awesome. Oh, perfect. Oh! Shit. Stop! Oh, oh. Woo! It's it. It's it. Oh. Oh, I missed because he leaned back. Bitch. Okay, come on. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Trying to bait him into attacking me. And, oh. Run, 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 run. I don't know where he's coming from, and I think that's the point. What? What the fuck was that? Hang right, on. You need to remember, I, I can attack him normally. But. Oh, nice. Thank you. Oh, hey, look at that. More shit to take. Stun lens. I mean, it's better than nothing. Nope. Red, okay, that's nice, nice. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Doll. Uh. Wow. Hate that shit. Um, these dolls are red kimono are called Tuzuki dolls. They're traditional to get to islands. The origin is not known for certain, but they are said by some to have originally as dolls made by parents in memory of their deceased children. Because, of course, that's what fucking everything is in this series. On some islands in the area, the dolls said to be a little unlucky, but here in Regetsu, they are placed in various different locations in order to ward off spirits. Cool. Oops. Give me that shit. I don't know what it is, but give it to me. Uh, nice. That'll get us to... Sick. Home. All right, now we just gotta run all the way back. Well, shit. Yo, Blossom, on film and I get you on Instagram. I was literally just gonna walk up to her and just be like, do it again, do it again, do it again. Black mask, fragment left. Uh, 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 the man. The wait, what? Was said to have brought to the island a disaster known as the Day of Tranquility. Maybe it was Tranquility because everyone's dead. I asked that at the island about this, but he told me with a fearful look on his face that he that no such thing ever existed. It seems this mask of lunar eclipse is something of a taboo subject here. From what I've discovered, the mask is a dangerous artifact, but still I wish I could have had a chance to take a look at it with my own eyes. It could have been a great help in my investigations into the spirit world. Hmm, that's gonna be something later. Alright, so... Yeah, now we need to take a left and up the stairs and to the right. Mm, 
yeah, nice and chill. Everything's fine. Nothing's wrong. No one's here to scare us. This is the ASMR Happy Good Time Fun Stream. Everything is, oh, I went the wrong way. Well, that being said, everything is still just fine. Nothing weird or supernatural at all. Still have a very slow, like, run though. Like, if they told me this was walking speed, I'd be like, yeah, it's reasonable. It's fine. That's that's a good walking speed. Nope, this is running speed. Because at the end of the day, we are a little girl. Not just one little girl, like eight separate little girls. Oh shit. There's one little girl at fifth day. We make fun of her on the playground. Point and laugh! No. Did you push her down? Oh, you so did. You pushed her down. You pushed her down the stairs. You're a dick. Okay, so I guess the evil girl isn't raccoon girl. I guess it's you, asshole. Get up here. Mm hmm. Memories are fading back in. Fucking asshole girl. Pushed another girl down the stairs. That's a long flight of stairs. I should check that. You wasted your time. Oh, shit. What'd you just say? Boop. 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 Get. Get fucking wrecked. That's a good sign. That's good. That's good. We like that. We like that. What does it mean? Ah, no. This is a good room to be in. This is a good and happy room. We love this. Oh, this is some cursed shit. Did you choose a name for your new pecanary? He's gonna be a lovely little friend for you. I'm sorry I can't visit you more often. Even when I'm not there, Madoki, you know I'm always thinking of you. I'll bring you some crayons next time if it's okay. I know how much you enjoy drawing, so I'm sure you'll like them. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting drawings you got going on around here. The doctors say that doing the things you like to do is good for you. It helps you fight your sickness get better, so make sure you draw lots of pictures. I know it's scary and you can't remember things you want to remember, but don't forget, Madoka, you're a Sukimori. You know what the Suki in our name means mon, don't you? That means the mon protects us and keeps us safe. So don't worry, Madoka. Do what Dr. Hybear says. Behave yourself and be a good girl. I'll visit you again very soon. Mommy. Jeez. Measure? Idea what that does. This is some creepy shit. Nope. A nighttime. I heard that. At nighttime, I know it's time for bed, but I get scared and I can't sleep. I get scared because when it gets dark, I see my face in the window. When I see my face in the window, my face is all wrong. My eyes are wobbly, my nose is bendy, my mouth is twisty. Inside my head gets all twisty too. I want to forget about Yako and all of the other bad things, but instead the good parts go away. So I hope tonight I can sleep well. I don't know, Yako keeps pushing, pushing other kids down the stairs. Like, it's kind of like really messed with my steez. Oh, hi! Hmm. Oh. <gasps> hi. Let's, uh. Let's talk. I'm gonna touch ya. Well, shit. I'm gonna pick you up. One item to report today. As before, the issues with the Yoka in room 207. She's just such a bitch. Around 3 p.m., I heard Madoka crying, so I rushed to her room to check on her. When I got there, I found that her pet canary's head has been snipped off with a pair of scissors. Ayoka was standing there with a pair of bloodstained scissors in her hand, so there's no question that she was responsible for killing the bird. I told her off as usual. Usual? 
but she just laughed at me. I got no sense that she had any appreciation that what she did was wrong. It's one thing to say that she can't tell right from wrong, but Yoko's behavior is just too much. I worry about a negative influence of Madoka and the other children, but in accordance with the director's wishes, we are unable to take any effective measures against Yoko's transgressions. Lovely. Lovely. Fucking lovely. I can't imagine cutting off a bird's head with scissors. Like, I just, I can't imagine doing that. Oh. Like, you know, sure. Oh, yeah? Ooh. <gasps> You're her. Oh, that, that was young you. That was young you looking at me saying, try it, bitch. What are you going to do to stop me? She was being a cocky motherfucker. I'm going to fuck her up. Max, she's probably the main boss. I know what I said. Nurse being called by Yoko. Yep. I don't know where I'm going. Uh. Max, what are you doing? I don't know. Oh, shit! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Girl pulling nurse? What the fuck? Strong ass little girl. I'm gonna mess you up, child. I'm gonna mess you up. Whoa. kind of demonic shit is this? Oh. High five. Just grab one of the arms and start slapping someone with it. Holy shit. That baby doll doesn't have a head. Oh, fuck. Child? Child? Child. Whoa. Whoa. Sit. Whoa. Nope. I was going to say, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah, fuck yeah! Next time we get to a save point, we need to buy some healing items. Get fucking wrecked, girly. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi, I'm a Yoko when older. Now you have to deal with the real me. Whoa! Whoa! Don't touch my. I thought she was touching my boobs for a sec. I was like, what the fuck? I'm here for you. As long as I'm here, you'll be okay. Hold on. Let's be together forever and ever. My precious. Don't worry. Resonance. Oh. I, for the record, I don't know how many chapters are in this game. I'm going to assume a good amount considering our first upgrade for the one camera requires 30 stones. But also, I think I saw something that said there's only like five chapters. But I don't know if that was like wrong or what. Because if this is already phase... Because how many phases are in the moon? So you got new, crescent, quarter, three quarters, full. And then the other way around. So new, one, two... New one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then back to new, so nine. Ruka. Uh -oh. It's Ruka. She's gone to the island. It's like, what the fuck, Ruka? Oh, so the island. I know it's a lot to ask, but please, 
be the fifteenth playable Ruka. Be the fifteenth playable Ruka. character. Please bring her back safely. Like ah oh, shit. I'm not paid enough for this. I need a cigar break. Also, all the girls look like they could be 15 and I look like I'm 40. Ah, sh can't believe the boatman dropped me off three miles into shore on the ground here. Ugh, my back. <sighs> Shit balls, but I am fashionable. Ugh. That was evil. That was evil. Hybara! Oh shit, follow me, it looks like Yohai Barra. Do I know Yohai Barra? This is my notepad, what's it doing here? Missing girls found alive. The five girls who went missing around two weeks ago have found at 11 p.m. last night. The name of the girls are as follows. All are seven years old. Yeah, but which one's the asshole girl? Where's the asshole girl? The girls vanished in the accident, stricken Regetsu Kagura, leading some to say they were spirited away. They were found in a cavern beneath the high bar and free by senior officer Toshiro Kirishima of Amanomura. Police Department Criminal Affairs issue to confirm their identities. The police are focusing their investigation inquiries on the staff of the High Bar Infirmary. Shows information to you. Just, uh. Yeah. Phase 3. Yeah, I have no idea how many phases there are. Also, because every time you see the moon, it's full. So, um. No actual clue. I thought it was over. But I found Ruka and the others, just Ruka, in the cavern under the infirmary. I thought it was all over. But of the five girls I saved, two are dead. Well, it's not your fault. I mean, in all fairness. Not even really just like fuck you. Oh, take this with you, Toshiro. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so this must be the flashlight they're talking about. Oh yeah. Ooh, that back hold. Sayaka. Um uh, oh. So it's literally the same. Boop. Okay, it's not the same, but... Oh, shit! Because I can sit here and charge it ahead of time. Like so! Okay, hold on. Boop. Boop. Oh shit, I missed. Boop. Oh, might be able to get all three. Boop. That's I just walked up on you. Uh, what am I going to have to do when the moon runs out? Um, does it only have a certain amount of charges? Um, oh, so I have to put it away and then survive for a little bit. That's fine. Okay, hold on. Let's look at my eye for a second. Okay. 
Okay. What the fuck? How does anything have to do with high bar being here? Something is lying where the ghost disappeared. Camera lens. I think he used a camera lens. You should remove it before fighting wraiths. Ah. Oh. Hold on. What, 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 what do these do? Lenses. Uh. Versus. Wait, hold on. Shows the hit points of ghosts, allows you to equip multiple lenses and switch between them. Oh. Huh. That's nice. Um. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Hey, um. No. Please take care of your accident. And and troll lock scares are placed on nights when the moon is obscured. Increased patrol. Wait, what? On nights when the moon is full, ensure all locks and security procedures are in place. On nights when the moon is obscured, increase patrol frequency. So, damned if you do, damned if you don't, it seems like. It's like, if the moon is out, increase security. If the moon isn't out, increase security. If the moon's halfway there, increase security. Oh! Sah! That must be the way down to the cavern. Oh shit. This is the lift they used back then to go down to the hidden cavern. Where I found Rook and the others. Oh. What? <laughs> See. Fortunately, I'm not entirely sure where to go. Let's uh actually hold. On. Let's go here. Mostly for the shop. Uh, same thing as before. So I'm just gonna get like three of those, and I feel like I'll be fine. Nope. Say so these games always do that. Where they're like, we want you to go one direction. So you try every direction, try to figure out what that is, and then you just end up being like, oh, so it's this one. I was gonna say if I was locked. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, oh, come on! I let go of that. Ah. Okay, be careful. If you loot, if, as you loot, if they manage to grab your arm, you can avoid them by releasing something. Ah. Oh, so you just straight up lose it. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. So those are all entirely optional items. Lovely. What about this? This is lore. This is optional. Okay, reports of include fear of mirrors and memory loss. Point to proto uh, prototypical moonlight syndrome diagnosis. It just progressed at moderate rate. Scheduled for surgical procedure next week on orders from director Haibar. We're just going to take out the frontal lobe, the whole thing. 
procedure was previously performed on two Moonlight Syndrome patients with more severe symptoms and producing no positive result. It is hoped to perform this procedure on a patient with relatively mild syndrome to lead to development for a treatment of Moonlight Syndrome. Therefore, all involved are to take detailed notes and make appropriate reports afterwards. Note the above is confidential to us. And two patients to others. You're supposed to have that in the top and bottom of the document. See, now, because I didn't know that, I'm the asshole. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. That's why they're like, hey, make sure to have this on until combat. I see. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah. They did surgery on me the other day. The people who the pe the other people who got the surgery didn't get better, so I said I didn't want to get surgery. But the doctor told me it's okay. It's Canadian healthcare. Uh, since the surgery's all red inside my head, and I don't like it. My hair fell out too. They made me cry, but when I cried, there was bl oh gall. What? They radiate the shit out of her? But Mama said the doctors say it's okay. My head is red. And it feels like it's melting. It hurts. Don't like it. Hope the pain melts away soon. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I think, like, if, like, if I make a guess, and I'm not a doctor, that sounds like they irradiated the fuck out of her. That they were just like, well, what else do we got? Pump you full of some gamma. Maybe I'll turn to the whole Hulk doesn't have depression issues. He just has anger issues. I hate that. That is so creepy. An old wheelchair. Yeah, because that's what I'm worried about, Matt. Oh, shit. I love that visually. This isn't in the smoking area. Yeah, I get it. Dude, throw me a pack. I can't throw you a pack of smokes. Throw me a pack of damn smokes. I want it. This is here. Oh, wait, shit. I was gonna say, there is something here. Oh, now I can see both her eyes, and that is, I don't, I don't like that. I don't, mm, mm, that's disturbing. It reminds me of, I think I've talked about this before, I don't know the artist, but there's this artist who did um, artwork for one of the main girls from, uh, from Chainsaw Man. Once again, I don't know her name, but she has, like, the braid and, like, the big yellow eyes. It's not the demon girl that, like, is based off of Cartman's, the other girl. But they made artwork of her, like, essentially stalking someone. And that, um, they made her and the environment and everything very, very dark. You know, as if it's, like, a nighttime or something. And, um, but they made her eyes just this brilliant yellow. And it felt like being stared at by uh by like a hooch we'll call it it had the same energy as like a tiger stalking her its prey and it was super creepy but i loved it it's just really well done okay increases points received see money doesn't actually do us any good right now uh storage increase next to the uh death Oh. Uh, increases damage. I mean, just oh, since I can't do rate of fire, I'll do overall damage. I just, so that's the third achievement I just got. That's like um, pro, that's like a prototype researcher or whatever. Oh, I just got the third one. So these must all be different characters. But I don't like how they all. I get why they all share. Oh, yeah. I get why they all share that, um, who do we call it? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say share. 
I get why they do not share upgrades, but I really wish they did because now I'm afraid to upgrade anyone because like, am I going to play as Ruka most of the game? I didn't play the tutorial as her. Am I going to play as da -da -da the game? I am, you know, it's like who's the person I need to upgrade or who's the person I can ignore? It's the same as in like the original Resident Evil 4 where you could, um, so their yellow herbs would slightly increase your maximum health, but you could give them to Ashley. Well, Ashley's not in every mission. Leon is. So, well, I'll put one. So it's like, is there really a point to doing it? And um, ultimately, I had to come to the conclusion it's not. So I just poured all into me, and then all the extras went to her, which was a lot because I felt like I was pretty thorough in that game. But yeah, I, I don't think it's worth doing. Also, are you telling me church doors are closed on a Sunday? Fuck you. How dare you? All right, never mind. Don't worry about it. Max, what are you talking about? It's the bells. It's making me think of this. Don't worry about it. Uh, Max, you're mumbling shit. Yes, I am. Right now, full disclosure, you are dealing with sleepy brain, Max. Because, ah, oh, God, I don't know why this game's making me sleepy, but it is. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Where exactly? I mean, we're trying to get the lift powered up, but. Max, I did the store. I know. I totally lost my objective. Uh, that doesn't help me. Literally, and I mean this with no exaggeration, find clues about Yohai Bar. Great. Literally, my brain just shut off for a moment. And just in my head, I thought we were trying to open a church door and it wasn't, and it didn't work. And I'm like, how dare they have a Sunday not to have the church doors open? And like my brain came back. I'm like, what the fuck am I talking about? So I'm all embarrassed now. Alright, um, but we haven't been anywhere down here, so, you want clues, boyo, on yo, hire, by whatever his name, my shadow, gall, I understand why that happens in terms of programming shadows, but, like, when your shadow goes through things, but doesn't, like, represent the floor correctly, so that way it, um, it looks like you're floating, especially in this kind of a game where it looks like a ghost, I'm just like, Bleh. all right. Ringing down the bells. Her. Can't believe you don't even have any bells ready. Her. The fuck? And now I leave. Now, um. I got healing items. Oh, I guess this is what we do. We're just gonna go the other way. Oh, Sam. Okay, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Let's try the other door. I just tried that door and it didn't work. Well, actually, you know what? You know what? You know, my first instinct was we shouldn't go outside, but what if we just go outside? We're looking for clues, right? Nope. Surprise, surprise. They let you leave and it's just like it's the game over like you failed your mission you go talk to her mom and she's like fuck you you left i'm like well it was scary there was ghosts it's like you have an anti-ghost flashlight use the anti-ghost flashlight oh but it's hard i can't believe you i'm dying at my hospital bed and my daughter's going back to a haunted ass island where people lose part of their memories and their souls every time they stand five feet and you're trying to can i like uh Um, I guess I tried there, tried there, tried there. Oh, 
Where have I not tried? I tried all those. Wait, hold on. Can I even access anywhere else? Hold on a sec. Hold on a hold on a pip. Okay, current location. Oh shit, uh, there's a door right there. That might be it. Alright, let's go up the stairs. Ah, oh, go. I always feel bad. I always feel bad when Sleepy Brain Max is in charge of the stream, but you know what? Sleepy, Ma Sleepy Brain Max is in charge of the stream, damn it. We're gonna do our best. Oddly enough, I think the game that Sleepy that um I've gotten the most sleepy during actually has been consistently Fatal Frame. I don't I think what it is with this game, and I kind of like I was kind of critical of it before for the same reason. But um these games are so slow paced, especially like if I'm already tired, it just makes me fall asleep. It's nothing against it, because when it's exciting, it's exciting, but like there's so much backtracking. And it, like you don't move quickly. In recognition of my fruitful research in the work of the cranial nervous system, I'm assigned to work as an assistant to Dr. Shigeto Hayabara at the Hiberian Infirmary on Rogetsu Isle. We've, we've microwaved a child's brain. Dai Hayabara is a lean researcher of Moonlight Syndrome, a condition peculiar to the Rogetsu Islands. The documents I've read describe Moonlight... What if we just nuke the islands? We all read... I've read describe Moonlight Syndrome as a composite mental disorder with curious symptoms such as sleepwalking memory loss. Despite ongoing research, both the cause of syndrome and the reason for its confinement to the Rogetsu Islands remain unknown. Dr. Hayabara is currently working to discover the truth about the condition. He has taken a unique approach to treating Moonlight Syndrome, incorporating the folklore of the islands, treatments such as musical therapy, using the traditional Rogetsu Island moon sounds, or unheard of in conventional psychiatry. I think Dr. Hayabara's ideas lead in the profession in an exciting new direction. It didn't work. The child went nuts. His research may not only cure Moonlight Syndrome, but also to unlock the mysteries surrounding the effect that memory has on the mind. It's fascinating. I have no doubt that working with Dr. Hayabar will be a chance to gain valuable experience that simply can't be found on the internet. Well, that's cool and good. Hey, the mouse. Where's the evil says I'm gonna stab the mouse? Alright. Ah. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry, I looked at this door. Damn it. Um. Let's go down this hallway again. Because Sleepy Brain Max doesn't remember what has or hasn't been done. And now I feel like I'm wandering in circles. Yeah, I've totally been here before. I've totally been here before. Do I have any, do I have any like items or shit? Tape recorder. Great. Wait, oh, something's smoking corner. Half lit cigarette. Okay. Oh god, I wish we had this earlier. All right, where's the? Oh, that's a ways out. That's a ways out. Investigate the operation. Per Hold on. How do I even get there? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, we're good. We're good. Okay. 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 So I'm sitting there thinking like, oh, it's so far away. No, no, Max, you're you're in the north going south, not the south going north. So you're good. You're good. Right, uh... I think it's a long way around. Oh shit. Uh, how, how do I, uh, bitch? Hold on. Bitch! Overkill. God, I just got like five, more than 5,000 points from kicking her ass, and it costs 10,000 for a healing item. I really do that like you hear this haunting music out of nowhere you don't quite know its source but you know that must be part of the moon sounds that they're playing to try to help but really it was I don't know locking them down under the spirits and driving them fucking insane like it's cool 
Also, like, oh. oh, also just the idea of like in a horror game being able to hear something in the distance. It's the same as the uh, like hearing pyramid head sword scrape. That like you never need to see it, but if you hear it, you're like, oh god, I know what it is. I'll reach out for it. I'll reach out for it. What like I do see on my phone? Ding bling, moshi moshi. I get the impression my friend's dead. No idea from where, but I'm getting that impression. Interesting. All right. Let's go get a procedure. Max, they're gonna radiate your brain after they kill you with their ghost magic. Yeah, I know. But I got myself a super flashlight. I can, I can take on the world. Oh, shit. No. Just wait for a ghost to, like, be there the moment I look away. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Oh! You ain't tap. You ain't stop me from taking this shit. You can't. Un Wait. Nope. No. 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 I want this shit right. Where is it? Where is it? Don't yell at me for not walking. But is it? fucking. It's like right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. Hold on. I can see it. It's right there. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Fucking! Shit! I even... Mm, I wasn't even ready for that. Dick. That does add extra stakes to it. Because, like, before in uh, Main of Blackwater, you get hit by it, you lose some health, and that'd be the end of it. And then maybe they'd try again if you, um, if you just went for the item. Oh, shit. Uh. Creepy. But, um, if you just sat there and, like, kept trying, the ghost might, like, repeatedly keep trying to, um, stop you. But for the most part, you know, like, you take your, you take your lumps and you're done. Would pretty much be it but the fact that um if you screw it up like the item just fucking leaves is that adds a lot of gravitas to that oh wait examine <gasps> it's you you're under the sheets <laughs> Ooh. Ugh. well shit uh shit Aha! Pinch. Oh, yeah. Bullet. I'm just sitting here just hypercharge this shit. Uber charge. And I'm just gonna walk up on you and point like. <laughs> Literally just walk up and just like. Pop. Just. Put the flashlight in her face. I told the doctor, I don't like it, it hurts. Tomorrow, more surgery. It's making me bad, the surgery, more surgery. Tomorrow, more surgery. I don't like surgery, it hurts. Hurts, hurts the surgery, it hurts me. Ah, oh, hurts, hurts. It hurts me, die, hurts, hurts, hurts. It's, it's die, die, ow, hurts, 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 I will take a awesome and amazing voice lines that will line that will land me a great deal many of um post mortem so Sagi didn't make it. How'd she write that down then? Oh, time of death, midnight thirty. Circumstance of death, condition deteriorated severely after second surgical procedure. Patient was tranquilized with something that became deranged during the night. 
Uh, doctor provided immediate emergency treatment to no effect. Patient died soon after. Unknown. Possible death due to the weakness of us putting her head in the microwave and claiming it's medicine. Brought on by sun worsening and moonlight symptoms. Oh. Well, shit. Let me take a picture of you, asshole. Jeez. Alright, get over here. Get over here. Asshole doctor who I'm assuming I know. Whoa, shit! Wait, hold on. What did that say? Should I be afraid? Yeah, well. I'm gonna grab it. I've been observing cases of Moonlight Syndrome at High Bar in Free. The moment I first laid eyes on one of the patients, a ghastly thrill traveled. Uh, I read that right. A ghastly thrill traveled up and down my spine. This syndrome was unlike anything I've ever seen before, and in this line of work, I've seen more than my fair share of unusual and disturbing things. Sorry, I'm moving up a little bit. Moonlight syndrome presents symptoms of memory defragmentation along with deterioration of sense of self. Check. Resulting destruction of the sufferer's personality. In advanced stages, it leads to total amnesia and unresponsiveness, and it's ultimately fatal. But apparently, most patients choose to end their own lives before those symptoms can progress to those final awful stages. <gasps> Watch as these poor bastards have their memories taken away from them as they break down or are consumed little by little. So horrible. One trembles at the sight. I wonder which moonlight syndrome is my worst enemy. No one should have to feel themselves slip away into the darkness. Seeing it for myself, I have a renewed sense of urgency regarding my work here. Dr. Haibar is treating moonlight syndrome as a special kind of local endemic disease, but he hasn't yet been able to grasp the nature of the condition to develop a reliable method of treatment or cure. His focus on medication combined with surgical procedures of folk medicine is a means to combat this condition. I'll learn more details about the different kinds of treatment tomorrow. I just hope one of them can be developed to a cure and we can finally wake these people from their nightmare. So it makes me wonder, like, you know, is this a situ? Oh, nice. Is this a situation of um? What was that? I don't know. So is this a situation of there actually being a disease as the cause of this, or is this a situation? <gasps> Thank you. Is this actually a disease that is causing this, or is it more that, um... Nah, I was hoping I could unlock it. Or is this more that, um... These ghosts are, like, fucking people up, and the closest approximation people have to, like, understanding what it is... Is that it's a disease. Because that's kind of what they were thinking about with the, um... So in Fatal Frame 3, there's essentially a dream palace that people would get sucked into. And it was, like, kind of based on a real place. But I, I want to say, like, the place was, like, destroyed or some shit. So, like, um, you know, you couldn't really go there physically, but you could go there in your dreams. And it would just, like, suck people in. It was awful. But, um, people would, like, spontaneously combust. <laughs> so everyone was like, it must clearly be a dream. Oh! <laughs> I'm right, not gonna lie, bro. Subtlety of a cat out of a bin. Oh, I don't have a radar. Oh, I do have a radar. Shit. He'll walk up on ya. He'll walk up on ya. Okay, so I don't have I don't have the uh, stutter shot, the shutter shot or whatever it's called. Like honestly, that was that was kind of a that's kind of an obvious jump scare, but still, it's just like what the fuck. 
I'm associated with Haibari and Fran. I want to know the truth about the di recent disappearance of those girls. As I was walking in the free grounds, I heard the sounds of children's voices coming from the well. At first, I thought I was hearing things, but the voices became more and more distinct. They weren't just crying as normal children do when they follow you aside their parents and crowd places. It was an altogether more hollow, terrible sound. It's them, the girls who vanished. I'm sure of it. I can't keep quiet about this anymore. If you don't act now, it'll be too late. These girls are being consumed, even as I write this. I beg you, conduct a search of Hybrid and free as soon as possible. That, yeah, that shit got me, not gonna lie. That shit, uh, that shit, uh, that shit got me. Alright, um, let's uh, take this out, put that on. Alright. Alright, let's go. Oh, shit. Wrong film. Ah, yep, 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 yep. Move, 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 move. Oh, lovely. Both versions of you are coming to kill me. Probably because you're somehow considered separate people. I'm just gonna walk up on you. Bop. Okay, I don't know where you are. I don't know where you are. Shit. Alright. Wham. Wasn't very, uh... Well, shit. Ah, I, I thought I had you there. Pop. All right. Okay, nice. Oh, freak me out. A good one there. Shit. Uh, how much health are we working with? Uh, we could probably use another, uh, herbal medicine. But, like, look at that. We got so many. We got, like, three more. We got so many. I don't even, I don't even know what to do with it. We got so many lenses. It's a camera lens, so that doesn't really help me. And I have eight, which doesn't really help me. Change equipment. Lenses. Nah, I got nothing. Really wish the upgrade. Oh. 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 Asshole. Well, now I gotta wait for it. Or jump down the well. So, yeah, I've got to find another way to get down there. Hey, wanna know another way to get down there? I like that you have to reach for the phone, too. Okay. Nope. Have you read the letter I sent? I heard them. The children. Yep. Wasn't full power, but let me just walk up and plant that. I'm a gardener, because I'm just gonna walk up and hold on, hold on, walk up and dunk. And that I really like that. I really like that about the flashlight. It's so simple. It's like it's not even a real combat mode, because literally you just walk up and you're just like, eh, thunk. Look, oh, look at that. Shit's crazy. You died. And then just, bloop. And it's like so quick, too. Ah. 
Let's see. I don't want to listen to audio tapes. In mild cases of Moonlight Syndrome, patients start to lose fragments of their memories and tend to sleepwalk. Neither of these symptoms is especially uncommon and may even occur together, but it's the effect of the face of the moon on Moonlight Syndrome patients that make it very different from such other conditions. Patients stabilize when the moon waxes and is full, but tend to seek out the moonlight and wander, moonlight and wander at night. Oh, sorry, moonlight and wander at night. When the moon wanes, they become frightened and unstable. Hence, the condition we now call Monlight Syndrome was originally known as Monlust or Nightwalking. Dave still uses superstitious context. Oh, oops. In severe cases, patients lose almost all their memories and are attracted to windows and rooftops, giving the appearance of being led by the Monlight. They bathe happily in it, as if they're having their lost cells return to them, albeit for a fleeting, unsustained moment. Patients who lose their memories will start looking toward the mound without fail. Symptoms like this may occur in individual psychiatric cases, but it's difficult to satisfy to experience simultaneous emergency multiple patients. The condition is unique to the Rogetsu Islands, so it may have connection with the climate or beliefs of these islands. It's the climate. It's so rainy here, you know, like once you see the moon, you get real excited about it. Love that. Okay, um, let's see if we can go in here. Uh, oh, I was going to say, like, uh, of course. Hello, hello. Oh, shh. Nurse placing wooden card. What's the wooden card? I'm going to take that shit. She's like, you're not taking that shit. Found a small panel decorated with a waning moon. Hmm. You found one Twizzler from the year 1897, and I'm like, Hurrah! I know every, like, every time we found a doll, the face has been more clear, but every time we see it, I'm just a little bit more disturbed. Like, that shit looks scary, not gonna lie. Uh, oh, I got a message from my wife. Awesome. It's kind of weird that sometimes, like, they make it so you have to grab it, and then other times they're just kind of like, fuck it, it's yours. Like, that right there was very much a, hey, don't worry about it. Just take your heels. Take your heels. It's good, man. You, you, you need heels, all right? Take your take your damn heels. I'm just like, oh, well, thank you. And then, then later on, they're just like, nah, fuck you. You're going you're gonna to hold this. <laughs> Let's do an experiment, by the way. Um, okay, so right now, everyone remember the number eight. If this chapter ends, we'll... Oh. <laughs> there. Oh. Oh, shh. I really don't like all the heads. I know we're brain surgeons or whatever, but shit. I'm gonna ignore it. You shouldn't ignore me. The days pass and our efforts to treat Moonlight Syndrome continue. Dr. Hayabara's treatment methods have shown some positive results, but they're starting to lose what basis they had in medical science or increasingly muddled the superstition and folklore. He's like chopping off fingers and shit? He's putting more and more emphasis on his own ideas than the legends of the island. Frankly, I doubt the efficacy of such methods. I've never seen such treatments applied to a neurological condition. In particular, the macabre apparatuses he uses are unlike anything I've ever, see ever seen used at any other hospital. As long as he's not sewing eyes together and shit. Or eyeballs closed and shit because that happened. What I or like the mask that literally screws in to like push out your eyes. I think that was in. No, it wasn't made in Blackwater, wasn't it? I think I think it wasn't made in Blackwater. Or three, there was like the needle women. What I find more disturbing though is the bizarre terminology used in this hospital. These are not standard medical terms. For instance, intermediate stage moonlight syndrome patients present symptoms where they fear their own reflections in mirrors or water. In the folklore of B Rogetsu Isle, this phenomenon is referred to as budding. Didn't someone say, like, she warned they may have already blossomed? The patients may be seeing their own faces reflect as something entirely different. Whatever the nature of the symptom, I wish they would call it a hallucination or a phobia. Rather than use a proper medical term, the superstitious budding word is used by the infirmary staff on a daily basis. Apparently, patients who see a budded face visible in themselves also bud. Great. So it's infectious. Then there's blossoming. 
I don't know the specifics of the symptom, but I've seen the color drain from people's face at the mere mention of the word. That's why we don't grow flowers anywhere. Uh, from the sound of it, I doubt it's anything to do with botany. They say that those who see the face of people with severe case of moon syndrome resonate with them and become afflicted with the syndrome themselves. Is this budding? Whatever the name for it, how is it even possible for a neurological condition to be transmitted? Before coming here, I wouldn't have even entertained such a possibility. But moonlight syndrome may somehow be contagious. On top of all this, I've been asked to make preparations for a rite to be held tomorrow. What kind of procedure it is? I don't know. Had I come to this, the whole affair has left me sick at heart. All these masks, too, not make me feel... Is lit. Someone in there? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I was like, back the fuck off. I, I had to switch away from the camera. This is bad. This is like a really close area. So we really have to rely on that radar. <laughs> what? Um, he blinded me or silenced me. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. He silenced me, so I couldn't use my camera for a second. Shit. I wonder why it moves up like that. Woo. Shit. Nice dodge. Motherfucker! I was gonna say, does it take ammo if I don't hit anything? It does. Motherfucker! Is there, is there any loot? The guy said he was hiding something, so. Oops. Alright. Not perfect. And... Whoa! Eat my ass! Alright. And... Let's see, that light is glowing. And like floating a bit. The engraved box is being held close by some sort of mechanism. It's engraved with a waxy moon and a waning moon pattern with two slots visible. Well, we got one of those, so that's good. Oh, hey. Oh, I missed. What the fuck? What the fuck? The nut. There we go. God, what's with the creepy girl? Later on, I'm gonna discover that I like missed one of these creepy girls and they're gonna get on me for it. They're gonna be like, you fucking killed her. Uh, yes, yeah, just so you know, she's the, it's like Resident Evil 7. It's like, she's the true source of the evil here. You didn't find all of her. So, um, now she's gonna haunt us for the rest of eternity. So, way to go. Thanks, we appreciate it. I'll be like, motherfucker. Uh. Uh. Sorry that my V2 model isn't, rep isn't doing the face that I'm trying to make. I'm trying to go, Hur. So, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to be angry and go, Ha. Kind of like bare my teeth a little bit, so ha. Kevin, I'm sorry, okay, hold on. So I hold the angry button, so I'm angry, right? And I go, ha. And then I let go of it, and. Uh, before it went to like this goofy smile. So, ha. There we go. Alright. I got some, I got more redstone, though. Which, okay, so earlier I said to keep track of how many blue stones I have. And I have, oh, 11 now. Great. So I have 11 and 
30, but I don't, I can't put any on there. I kind of want to just do maximum power just to say fuck it. Increase maximum of spirit points. Increases the uh, points to see from chain shots. Well, I don't really have chain shots. So let's just keep doing maximum power. <laughs> Why? Because it's funny. Alright. Oh, oh. oh. Get out of my office. Thank you, Director Haribara. Excuse me. Thank you. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna follow you. I have no reason not to. Uh Ooh. You don't say can I can I sh shoost it up and can I choose it open? Alright. I come from the steam liturgy of head ceremonial priest bearing the honor and name of Hayabara. This is a good start already. I, I'm also the Messy Man Asylum. As such, I've come face to face with the condition known as the modern vernacular as Moonlight Syndrome. In establishing institutional research and treat Moonlight Syndrome, I have exploited the benefits of medical science while still upholding the teachings of my ancestors. Once again, uh, I believe it's my mission to research this baffling syndrome using a fusion of modern science and ancient tradition. Once the people of Ragetsu Isle used their own means, befitting of their time, to delve into the nature of mind and soul, the masks of the Kagura were one such means. By wearing the mask and hearing the music, the vessel looses herself. Great. The organ's masks allow them to keep their beat steady. Great. The wearing of masks stimulates various different parts of the human brain. This is a fascinating phenomenon that science alone cannot explain. Masks are really a powerful method to explore the potential of the brain. They open a door for us to explore new territories. And, no, and so came to be the ancient to know the true form of the Rogetsu Kagura, the right of descent. This right provides us with a means to dive into the abyss of the mind. However, the right of descent has been forbidden ever since it brought disaster to Rogetsu Isle. The legends that tell this disaster are terrifying. Or a conqueror of syndrome, we must be brave enough to step over taboo boundaries and just, you know, cause cataclysmic death again the moon eclipses but once every 10 years we can't let this chance escape us time is a commodity we sadly lack awesome 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 i like this though sculpture resembling a cloud failed mom i keep forgetting it. it's, it's pronounced mom okay so can i like Push parts of it. Kind of, yeah. Also, I like that little flick I do with the flashlight. It's pretty cool. Can I kick it? Kicking is my answer to everything. All right. Well, fuck it. I guess down here we go. Cause I don't know how to interact with that uh, bookshelf. Who's that Morris? Oh, it's a wheelchair. I know why. For a second, I thought it, I actually thought it was a motorcycle. That's why I was like, ooh, right on out of style. Wait, what? What did you just say? Oh. Assistant behind fence. Shh. Creepy. Oh, oh. Nah. Oh, perfect. Oh, the box contained a piece of paper. 438951. Well, I'm guessing it's a Sudoku. Which means... A serial number and some kind of riddle written on it. Twice seven days makes the new moon full. Plus one is the key to the square as well. Twice seven days, so two seven, makes the new moon full. Plus one is the key to the square. The key would be in the center. Five plus one is six. There would be no six there because two, seven, six complete the Sudoku. So it's two, seven. Oh, wait, actually, wait. Twice seven days. Well, it can't be 14. So yeah, I'm guessing the answer is two, seven, six. Well, there's only 999 possibilities. So eventually we'll get it right. Hopefully. Two, seven, six. Excuse me. I like to apologize again that I had a sleepy, I had sleepy mode for a little bit. Oh wait, hold on, can I not? It's two seven six. 
Where do I, where do I, where do I slam that into? I know the answer is it's two cent six. But I feel bad. I feel better now though, which is how it usually happens. That like um, I get like really sleepy. Oh, hey, perfect. I get like really sleepy out of nowhere. Ooh, ooh, oh, nope, 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 nope. That was a mistake. I get like really sleepy out of nowhere, and then um. Hey, I get really sleepy and then after I have like that moment where I'm like whoop I come right back and I'm good <laughs> Nice I'm brilliant also because oh. I'm gonna examine it Oh Oh, oh. Let's say oh, but I thought it was just I, for a second. I thought it was just gonna open the uh, the thing that I just did. Oh. What's back here? Probably the little girl's gonna jump on top of my head. Shit's crazy like that. Oh shit! I was gonna say there's the railing as I just fall down it like it's nothing. Oh god! So before we did the fucked up. I was gonna say before. Oh! <laughs> Dude just tried to limbo! Dude tried to limbo out of there! Think you're hot shit! I saw that, he just went like, ha! Like, I don't know. What the? What the fuck? I'm gonna take your shit. Yeah, so upstairs, we did the fucked up kind of surgery. Downstairs. Driven full of nails. Awesome. Downstairs, we do the even more fucked up surgery. I can't. I think that's supposed to go on someone's head. The fuck was Dr. Hybrid doing down here? Oh no, the music's starting to play. Oh no, the music's starting to play. Oh no. Of all the methods of retreating Moonlight Syndrome that we have tried to date, the most promising appears to be surgery. Specifically, this treatment involves stimulation of the brain by direct or indirect means. Progress is very slow and difficult at first, with much experimentation, but results start to appear now it seems that the day cannot be far when we find a comprehensive treatment method. However, there was recently a case where surgery seemed successful at first, but unfortunately ended in tragedy. The patient initially appeared to recover from Moonlight Syndrome, but rapidly deteriorated with total amnesia and voidness followed by death. The corpse's face appeared warped and was, of course, harvested immediately. Harvested? What? Was this warping the beginning of blossoming? Research and treatment through surgical procedures is continuing, but blossoming must be prevented at all costs. We must not bring about another disaster like the one spoke. I'm guessing someone blossomed and it like set everyone else off. And like everyone else become budded. And then they all blossomed and died. We cannot have another day of tranquility on this island. Awesome. 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 I'll take it. No mirrors in here. Notice that there's no mirrors because if you see yourself when you're butted, it fucks you up. And then if someone sees, like, you. Oh. Jeez, what in the world is this architecture? Oh, God. This passage is completely blocked. Well, here we go. Oh, oh, it's a little short, but you know what? Might not be able to carry a couch through it, but I'll make my way through. Oh. Oh, it's the lift. Nice. Oh, oh. So this was me then, right? This, this isn't the person, but this is me. Toshiro, whatever my name is. But I can't cross it, it's a fence. I need a Pokemon that knows the move cut. Nope. And like that, you pass into the underworld. You fucked up!
God, why are they all hunched? Okay, so it's their the sleeves. The sleeves are really big, so they looked hunched. Wow, that's creepy. Wow, that's awful. Oh. So wait, hold on. Are they all blossomed or are they all budded? Because I think they said you can only see your own if you're budded. If you can see others if you're blossomed. So you all just hit me with. Your mother sent me. She's like, what? What about the rest of us? Your parents don't give a shit. What? Yeah, so they all were blossomed and they all just hit me with a good dose of that shit. Mm. Get get ready to get fucking jumped. How many did how many how many spirit stones did I say I have? Fuck, I don't remember. Shit. Alright, now let's see. It is 940. Uh so like, so, I've been told that I stream too late and I need to end earlier. However, today, since we started late, we will go for a little bit longer. We'll end at what was the normal time. How have we only been going for two hours? We've been streaming for three. Maybe it doesn't count. Pausing and the like. Uh, summary? If no one remembers something, does that mean it never happened? Ruka Minazuka, another one of the girls who disappeared 10 years previously, comes to Rogetsu Island after Misaka and Madoka. Madoka. Ruka grew up on the island, but after the incident, she and her mother left. Ruka has her own reasons for coming here. Ruka wants to piece together her lost memories. Why does she remember where she was born, what her father looked like? What was done to her and the other girls? What happened on the island the day they were taken? While Swan gets a hall and search the key to her memories, Ruka and Kairos goes to Madoka in the room next to the Aso Museum. She then looks in the mirror and is greeted with a vision of her own face, warped and distorted. I mean, I remember that from before. This music. Would you even really call it music? It's like warped and broken. What if she blossoms? But here's the question. Why do they want me to bud? Why do they want me to... Phase 4. Void. Why do they want me to be partially infected? Or if they know I'm infected, maybe the idea is that, like... Maybe the idea is that it's like, okay, so we're gonna need one person that goes ballistic. And they'll die, so it's fine. But then we need five people that are budded, they won't go ballistic because they'll have masks on and that'll help contain it or some shit. Like a perpetual disease that someone has to have. Like, ugh. Search the area. For my beautiful face! Um, it's a little... angled down a little bit, but like, uh... I'm still a looker. Alright, um... Oh, examine. I don't understand. Since I saw the one with no face, I don't understand anymore. My face is bre breaking, but I remember now. Me crying. Ayoko's face. The hand grabbed me. The mask is coming. Blood red. That music. Fallen face. No, don't show me anymore. I remember. We were chosen. It hurts everything. Shut it out. Shut it all out. I don't want to see. Ah, I took the time to write all the A's. Ah, no, 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 no. no. little back your throat. Like, ah, no, no, no. Like, eh. <laughs> I want you to shut it out, but the moon is calling. The, I was like, the man is calling. The man, 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 the man. I want to be somewhere dark, somewhere dark with no man. Ah! I'm going back. Ah, ah. I'm going back to my room. Well, there's our heading, I think. Okay, so real quick. How much juice do I got? 12. I'm pretty sure it's more than I had before. So, and because of the... Okay, lenses. Um. Okay, can't upgrade it. Thirty. I mean, that's what I had before. So fuck it. Fuck it. All those other ones. It's like stun and whatever and measure and shit. Fuck that. Power. Let's see, take a more powerful shot when used. Low. I don't know what that means. 
you know what? Charge. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna start I'm gonna start um upgrading indiscriminate burp indiscriminately. Excuse me, thing that's very clearly a person. Awesome. Thank you. Alright, um let me just kinda like oh, wait, hold on. Hold okay, okay, I was gonna say like hold on a second. For a second, I thought the fifth mask was back there. I was going to say, like, oh, so there is a timeline difference. You know, it's kind of obvious that this probably isn't happening simultaneously, but... Confirmation. Still a great shot every time. I'm waiting to, like, at some point, like, as we're... As that scene is happening, you just see, like, a hand. <laughs> Not that kind of hand. But, like, you just slowly see a hand, like, peek out. Also, it's kind of interesting that, um... I wonder how much on purpose that was done. That, um... Records. Notebook. Ooh, can I see people's faces? Damn it. I was kind of hoping I could. Um... Voices. Oh. That's cool. I like that. Something that's been like not working very well at work just email me and said it's working. That's good. It's completely unrelated. Hmm? I don't like that I have to sit here and wait for this. So, um, I'm not going to listen to the other ones because I can't walk around and listen to it. I don't need any evidence. Oh. Um, I was more worried about, like, files. Yeah, how do you use... During battle, you can press blank to use an upgrade lens if you have enough spirit points. Cool. Okay, cool, cool. So, I can go pop and hit X and get a super strong shot out of the deal. Every time I see this picture, I love it because it like it like sh represents everything that's wrong. <laughs> Bitch. Oop. It's like that was just a that was just a specter, Max. It wasn't a real ghost. Bitch, I'm ready for it to be a real ghost. All right, well, I know this game works. Literally, if any ghosts walk in any direction, you walk with them. That's not an exaggeration. This is a nice wall. Find the source of the music? I don't want to. That music is like fucking evil. It's not a joke. Oh. Like that music's freaking evil. Alright, go, go, go. I got I the one is so embarrassed. Put your arms into it. Something. I... It's like, bitch, I like this song. Don't take it away from me. I still got you. Fucking turn it off. Fucking turn it off. Fucking. Yes. It freaking hurts. Why would I not turn it off? When I'm to report today, experimented today with musical therapy, I play music over the speakers between 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. It sucked. I, I played uh, Hey You Pussycat for five hours. <laughs> Used music with selection from the moon sounds, which is just rattling. No one on this island actually understands music. We tried Mozart, everyone hated it. Random rattling, everyone loved it. Shit's weird. Some patients, especially the youngest, were seen, were seen to present extreme reactions not normally seen in them. Since the therapy has been proven to produce an effect, it may be carried out again in the future. Uh, yeah, what were the extreme reactions? Oh, they were clawing out their own eyeballs. Well, you know, 
You would think it would be the ears, but now they're eyes. Ah, uh, hmm. However, I believe that most reactions seen today were not positive. The behavior of our patients still holds many mysteries for us. Next time such experiments are carried out, please prepare as, as such, please prepare as much as possible for unanticipated situations. Uh, two nurses per each patient, each with their own blowgun that has a tranquilizer. Yeah, I fucking wonder what happened. Fucking. Shit, what? 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 Who's on the line? The light for two of seven is lit up. Ayako's written on the nameplate. Isn't Ayako the asshole? Yeah, you broke another toy. Yeah, you want a new one, huh? Dolls that don't. Not her again. Wait, you don't want it to be her so much that you're going to try to. Oh, shit! Like, not her again, and now I fight you. I'm gonna try to hit you with the blast. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you with the blast. Whoa. That was the X button. Isn't that the button they want me to hit? Is that not the button they want me to hit? Did I not hit the right button? That's not the right button either. Oh, shit! Hang on, we're, 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 we're figuring this out. We're figuring this out. Okay, blast! Blast! That's not it. How do you do the blast? What the fuck? They said X. And it's equipped. Okay, there it is. So you have to be locked on and then hit a square on PlayStation X on Xbox. Okay. You have to be locked on first. Okay. Okay. I was just doing it willy-nilly. No, 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 no. You have to be like... Bing! Love your eyes, girly. All right, next time we get to a healing spot, we better like stock up a little bit. A meeting will take place tomorrow at 16 to explain the experimental treatment of playing music over the speaker loud system. Information, you know, people sleep then, but fuck that. Information about the location of the meeting will follow. The nurse in charge of room 207, the new building, should bring the music score from the room next door. So 207, room beside it, got it. All right, well, let's get the heck you out of here. Alright, um, okay, so where's, there's 206, there's the hidden room, there's a four poster bed, there's room 207. So, I mean, the room next to it. That's a lot of bad music. It's a lot of bad sounds. Okay, uh, they said the room next to it, so they probably mean 206, 207. Or maybe they mean the room inside of it. Like that kind of thing. Yeah, that probably makes sense. Uh, okay. Alright. Alright, little girl that jumped on me last time and tried to rip my head off. Yep. Let's have a co- Oh. You again! Freaky ass little bitch. Get over here. Fucking Ayako. I will fuck you up. Don't think I will, girl. I will. I have. Guess, uh, ask me. Ask me real quick. You know, ask me on a scale of 1 to 10 how many emotional qualms I have with decking a small child. The answer is none. I have no qualms with decking a small child. Um, increase the maximum number of stored spirit points. We don't need that shit. Uh, sensitivity. Wait, hold on. I thought this was improves fill. Oh, sh wait. Improves film loading time. Improves camera charging time. Ah, okay, okay. So this is how quickly the film reloads. This is how quickly 
like I can lock in on someone. So we should upgrade. Eh? Yeah, we should upgrade sensitivity next. Two on charm, I think, is like that hand right in front of my face. I'm like 90% certain it twitched without me even touching it. The game will probably insist that I touched it, but just saying. Oh, she's 12. But I forget how old they said all the girls. I think the one that died was six. Patient exhibits symptoms of sudden memory uh, as well as singular lack of ethics and morality. Exemplified in the enjoyment she gets from causing pain and taking life. She may be using aggressive behaviors as a means to keep a grip of her sense of self. Other patients have displayed tendencies to cling to objects or aspects of personality, but Yako is the first to cling to violence. Her Moonlight Syndrome may only be in a moderate stage of advancement, but she requires careful observation. <laughs> that actually scared me. Mateo, hello! How's it going, man? Alright, uh, Mirror Stone. Oh, I can't carry more than one Mirror Well, I guess I just have to let myself get killed. So I can carry that Mirror Stone. God, this place is creepy as shit. Wait, what? They seem to be about psychiatry, anatomy, and other areas of medicine. Ah, so she knows where to stab people. Lovely. Yeah, how's it going, man? Oh. Uh, how much? How much uh, blue? How, how much blue view do? We, how much blue view do I got? Twenty-two. Nice. Yeah. Let's uh let's throw it into sensitivity. Thirty. Uh. Next we'll go into power. Next we'll go into power. Yeah. Oh! Fucking- Oh, she's on me! Fucking, it's you. Why am I not surprised? It's you! Eat that blast. That's right. I blasted you with a stutter shot. Although, it didn't let me combo you, so- Oh, you got that classic float! You got that classic Disney float! Oh, that smile! Bitch. Don't smile at me like that. I'll fuck you up. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Mm. I right, hold, hold the line. Okay, okay, okay. Careful, careful. There. Uh, nope. Eat shit. Eat shit. Eat shit. Eat shit. Eat shit. I think I. Saw Brained a tendon in and around my wrist today, helping her place two axes on trailer had already flipped. Shit. I'm sorry to hear that, man. It sucks. Have you, like, got some ice on it, or what What are you doing to... Get, yeah, gain some ice? Maybe gain one of those, like, I don't know how bad it is. If it's, like, ignore... Uh, ah, hand. Alright, how hurt am I? Oh, I'm pretty hurt. Um... We'll use another herbal medicine, and like I said, next time we get to a heal, next time we get to a save point, we'll uh, slap some heals or buy some heals on some. Mm. Mm. I'd still say some like ice or something. I always forget—is it ice or heat? I always forget. Eh, eh, eh. I'm, I remember something if I played on the dining hall piano. Oh, memory and music are deeply connected. I've seen many examples of music prompting the recollect. Thought I heard something. Icy hot, dude. Actually, icy hot might help. Yeah, one such. Ah. One such case was a patient of mine who would play various phrases on piano. Seemingly used the notes of phrase tools to explore her own mind. She st stop those sounds. Fucking stop that. Fucking stop making those sounds. She started to play several similar phrases over and over, changing the key slightly each time. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Those phrases must have had some connection with her deeply bare memories. Improvement in her condition was dramatic and surprising. Unfortunately, she killed herself after recovering her memories. This case ended in failure, but what's certain is that music can reach deeper regions of the mind accessible to- No. Fuck you. <laughs> I fuck you up. Alright. To me, your language. There's a music like that in silent. I remember hearing it when I was a child. They call them moon sounds. It's fucking rattling. There are different kinds of moon sounds, so I remember some of them being used during rituals at festivals. 
So most of the moon sounds have been passed down by word of mouth. Yeah, they just rattle some dishes together. They're like, the moon sounds! The melodies are ancient, but I've definitely seen documents about them somewhere. Seems as both come back to this island in the end. Okay, where the fuck is that sound coming from? Oh, it's behind a curtain. So I'm about to get fucking jumped. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh! Bitch! I will fight you. Don't think I won't? I will. What's with those strings? What in the world is going on with that? Um, a four-poster bed. Red cords are tied between the posts. There's no one in the bed. What is it, like a spiritual, like, defense mechanism? On a big note for me. On a big note. Man, she gets her own secret room with her own four-poster bed and a bunch of wires. Ayoko is... is a little bitch. That idea for you, you had for a while long. Yeah, that was gonna stick with the slashing spear. And, um... That was gonna stick with the slashing spear and uh, go for the lightest equipment load so I could be super good at parries. I remember it. it was hands! I'm waiting for all those hands to start wiggling like a motherfucker. Alright, we need to get to the downstairs dining hall. I hate being in here. Yeah, that um, I wanted to I wanted to really afflict people with heavy because I thought it would be really funny. Because then, like, because um, I, I know you know what this all is, but I'm repeating it to you because you made fun of me that I wouldn't remember, but I'm showing that I remember. Um, the idea was going to be that if I apply heavy on people, wait, what was that? If I apply heavy on people, oh, it's for that door. Oh, wait, I, I examined the door. Examined what? Oh. Door, the doorknob is rotted off, making it impossible to open. Well, that's what I have to kick, isn't it? But, um... The idea was since heaviness makes it so that their spirit meter goes up more slowly and that I can drain it faster, that I would afflict them with heavy and then I would just sit there and slap the fuck out of them. And then have all sorts of abilities that are basically like stacking to make heavy apply more quickly, make it so you do more damage or something that has heavy so that way we just do like endless criticals. Yeah. I thought it was a good idea. Ah, uh, here we go again. Reach out for the phone. All right, Moshi Moshi. Hey, oh. Why are you calling me and talk? Oh. I didn't want to come here either, girly. Doesn't matter anymore because I drank water. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. It's all going to go away. When the blur tool from Photoshop hits my face. The man, the man. They're fine. They're fine. I, um. That then makes it weak to lightning, which makes it weak to poison. That... Yeah, but then I would need five different spells. Unless I could have like a weapon, gall. If they gave me the option to have a weapon enchantment that was just like, oh wait, the dining the dining hall is this way. If they gave me something that was like, your weapon always applies stone, that would be the shit. Because then yeah, you could have. Okay, so let me, I I just want to like ge generally check something, right? So when I threw like a fireball, the fire thing glowed for a while on like the spell list. So does that mean that like if anyone hit me with water, whilst that fire thing was. Oh, holy shit, I love your design, I, oh my, I want to, I want to look at that picture, I want to look at that picture, sidebar, I love that pictures are shown for each room, I think that's great, but I want to look at that picture again, can I, can I, hold on, hold on, hold on, Beautiful woman, who are you? Look at wow. Wow. They get specific. What is that dress? That hair? What in the world are you? That's a keeper. 
But like, okay, so like, yeah, when I throw a fireball, that little fire thing is glowing. So does that basically mean I am under the effects of fire virtue? So therefore, if someone hits me with water, I'm fucked. Cause like, ooh, oh, does it work like that? So like, you hit someone with a divine beast so that their water goes off. And then you hit them with the next element, and then you hit them with the next element, and then you hit them with the next element. And then, can you really just sit there and circle like that? Does, does it work that way? Because that'd be complicated as fuck. But, like, I mean, hey, if it worked, right? You basically just have to build around, like, your whole strategy would have to be, like, just built around being able to circle like that. You know what I mean? It's a cool idea, though. Oh, wait, shit. Where is that? Unless you're just direct, I think it's, I think it's just directing me towards the door. Oh, no, 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 there it is. Alright, red, awesome. I don't need it because I have blast, so I'm good, but like... Alright, bitches. I need to play the piano. Where is, the, oh, I went the wrong way. I was gonna say like, where the fuck is it? Where the fuck? Fuck the piano. Since I can barely fucking run. Where the fuck? Uh. Ooh. Oh. Play the piano by following the notes. Press the button corresponding to each glowing key to play it. You'll be successful if you can match the timing. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, damn it. What the, what the fuck? Ah, there we go. I was hitting the wrong one. I know this song. I've heard it before. Oh shit. What was with that lurking woman? Who is that lurking woman? I'm not just saying this because like, I think she's pretty. Like she's got some wild ass hair. Who the fuck was she? Like everyone else is like nurses or like people in the village or whatever, but who is she? Also, it said specifically that she was lurking. Uh, 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 the lift? The lift? Yes, I always took that lift. Honestly, this is like a, okay, so something I always kind of like poke fun at the, uh, something I, I kind of like poked fun at the, uh, Fatal Frame games for is that, um, a lot of the time, um, where's the lift? They covered it up. She's like, how dare you play on my piano? Death. Death to all. <laughs> Alright, um. Oh wait, I have to get I have to get to the infirmary, don't I? That's right, the the, the lift is in the infirmary. But um The Fatal Frame games are always kinda weird in that they like uh like you'll take a picture of something and it'll go like wibbly wobbly, now you know where to go. So going off of Oh hey the lift. Oh, don't tell me. She's the mortician? Holy shit, is she the mortician? Or the gravekeeper? Ooh, that ass. Woman in black with sister. Her, who's sister? Wait, hold on, real quick, real quick, real quick. Oh no! Wait, hold on. Um, it says stock four. What? Hang on. 
Did I just... The game's keeping track of how many I bought. It's probably how it's going to score me at the end. There's probably rewards for like, hey, if you never buy any. Well, fuck that. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, uh. Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm probably not, I'm not probably not going to be streaming for much longer anyway. Uh, 20 minutes at most. And then, um, we'll be doing a long on Friday. But I really appreciate you stopping by. I know it's kind of late for you. Trust me. I, I definitely need to go to sleep soon as well. But it's good to see you though, man. Really appreciate it. It's always good to have you here. Max, you always say that. Well, it's true. Oh. Nope, that's not it. What's with the lurking one? Yeah, I'm gonna watch one more epi band made than bed. Sounds like a good plan. Not gonna lie. Sounds like an excellent plan. Uh oh. Oh. Who, who, who did you say that? People don't cat, ma'am. People don't casually walk around and just say I'm gonna live forever. Aw, thanks. Hope you have a good night too, man. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Target. Woman in wheelchair, but the one lady's gone. Where's the one lady? Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, they definitely want me to focus over there. Where's the one lady? Something's wrong. Ma'am. I'm going to touch your shoulder, ma'am. 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 Ma'am, I'm going to touch your shoulder. Oh, I'm not in control of this. Wait, this is the end of the episode. This might be the perfect place to stop. Oh, shit! Wait, don't touch me? She has your hair. Don't. Touch. Whoa. She's wheeling herself around. Let's go. Oh, she's tall. And she moves like a mannequin. I love her. All right, fine. Don't swing, bitch. Oh, you don't get stunned. You don't get stunned. You don't get stunned. You don't get stunned, bitch. Oh, oh, you don't get stunned. Oh, you don't get stunned. Oh, shit. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah, run, 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 run. That is not a run. There. So you're the constant threat. You're the constant threat. I gotta find her. Oh, shit. I love this. This is awesome. All right, hold on. Items. The game is going to sit here and make fun of me for using this shit, but whatevs. I don't give a shit. Alright. Okay, so there's the oncoming storm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I hit her. Oh, that is freaky. Nope, nope. Uh, she's saying shit in Japanese. I heard Watashi wa. Oh my goodness. Where is she? Where is she? I don't even know if I'm doing real damage. Oh wait, hold on. I just realized. I can actually see her health. Okay, hold on. Oh, that is... Shit. Oh! Don't tell me she's active again. Okay, hold on. Oh, shit! Okay, go, go, go! Oh! Uh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. 
Oh! There you go. Okay, we got two targets. Oh. Okay, we're walking backwards down the garden. Oh, almost got both. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Listen, 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 girly. Listen, listen. At least you're helping me charge my shit. Okay, gotcha. Alright, loading the good shit. There you are. Bitch, get your hands away from me. That was cool. I really liked that. Like, in terms of mechanics, that was so good. First off, she was creepy as all get out. Second, the idea of someone like a... The idea of a ghost literally carting themselves around. Like, I remember seeing one. Some It was meant to be like a cute idea for like... Let me run my eyeball real quick. It was meant to be like a cute idea for a comic. That like... What if someone died and became a zombie, but their ghost lived on? So it was about literally someone, someone's ghost trying to help someone zombie kind of a thing, right? It was just a cute little idea, and I thought it was really funny. But um, that's literally what she was. She was her own ghost and her own zombie. And the tag team idea of like one comes at you endlessly, but the other one is like very ambush tactic style. That is fun. I really like that. Thank you for this copper key. It's the switchboard room. I don't know where the switchboard room is. Ah. Oh, so we're not that far away. Oh. I really look like... I look like Final Fantasy pretty, you know what I mean? Ooh. Don't. Alright, I'm gonna take it for granted. You're instant death. Oh, there's only one way out. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're the instant death lady. I know how this works. I've played this game before. Or, not this game, but like, I've played these games. You're the instant death lady. Got it. I can't tell if hair or water is coming out. Oh, she's still around. It's still in black and white. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, oh. Okay, we're clean. I swear every game has that. Just like some entity that if it touches you, you just freaking die. Like that's it. There's no discussion or nothing. It's just you, you touch her, you freaking die. To the left. We should end the episode soon, but I'm thinking, like, it should be soon, right? If not, there's a save right there. Uh, there should be some goodies around here somewhere. Uh -huh. the, th the thing was... Oh, there it is. I was going to say. Oh, nice. I was going to say, the thing turned blue. Yeah, I really like, I don't know what her name is. Like, I'm called the Veil Girl or like the Girl in Black or the Lurking Girl or whatever. But, um, she was cool. I really liked her. Like, for multiple reasons. I liked her design. I liked her design. I liked how she fought. I liked how creepy she was. I love the idea of her just going like, don't touch me. And then like trying to kill you. I think we're in a crematorium. Lovely. Oh. Oh. The password for the door to the third floor was been changed in 1956. There are some extremely sick patients on the third floor, so please be very careful with the door to that floor. Oh. Uh, everybody wants those crystal radius. It's interesting. Because before Crystal Radios was like, we got one of these bitches and they're real valuable. So like, 
don't fuck it up, all right? Like, seriously, every now and then when people die, they leave behind crystalline whatever bullshit. So just, like, don't fuck with it. Uh. Oh, so they're showing me it. So I know I'm going to need to come back here, but they're not letting... Ah, uh, they're not letting me fiddle with it. That's interesting. I'm gonna see if I can hear. They're not letting me do the Resident Evil thing where it's like, if it's your second playthrough and you know the combination, you can just do it without thinking. It's like, no, they're like, no, you don't know it. Don't fuck with it. It's like, but I could try to, you don't know it. You don't fuck with it. They said 19th. Whoa. Where did this come from? Why is it blue? What? Uh, unlocked the door. Where does this lead me? Underground. Why, what in the world was that lighting out of nowhere? Sounds of water. Oh shit. We just looped. Well, it looks like instant kill lady is gone now. Oh, can't go through those bushes. But, um, at least we solved the problem. All right, well, it said the third floor, 1956. Um, I don't remember where that is exactly but um third floor 1956 Sh sure it probably is like wait hold on um in the control room oh wait no the high bottom infirmary uh, wait, that's a roof. That's the... What the... What the fuck? Investigate the lift. Where's the lift? There's the lift. Okay, so we just go back? Will the lift take us to the third floor? Okay, this one's still locked, right? Yep, okay, it's still locked. Really, though, that lurking woman was cool. That being said, if I get locked into a small room with her, that's gonna be a bitch. Like, that's gonna suck. Because we fought, we fought people who have the, uh... Like, we fought people who've had, uh... Like, clones or doll versions of themselves. Okay, I might as well pick this up. There's no reason not to. Oh, letter dropped by woman in black. What could be the matter with you of late? Why are you in such a foul mood? Back then, when first I told you I felt about you, you rejected me completely and utterly, even though you always smiled at me after you became me. Even though you always smiled at me after you became me. Is she talking to her corpse? I want to see you smile like that again. Where shall we go for our walk today? <gasps> she's she's talking to her corpse. Her spirit separated. Uh, doesn't seem to be switched on. Uh. Ah. Uh. Um, we should end the episode off here. The Astro Museum is a room dedicated to Professor Astro's visit to the island. It features important materials on display. Entrance is free, and I wish you visit the show. Play with the pale moon, the pool in the or the pale mon in the, the pool in the mon flower garden. Courier may also be used freely between July and October. Note to staff: Entrance rooms other than the switchboard room, wide storage room, super available. Yep. Okay. So, God, this game has so much. Well, I guess like. 
I guess if I knew to, um, oh, I just, oh, I'm dumb as bricks. It's not talking about the store's stock. It's talking about my stock. Note the reveals location of the housing dolls in the ghost list. Yeah, fuck it. How many would you like to trade? I only need one. Yeah, trade complete. Yeah, it's not talking about, it's not talking about the stock in the store. It's talking about my stock. It, it's normally, you don't call it stock like that. Yeah, well, fuck it, I got six, I'm good. This, okay. So once again, I feel like, Max, don't bring it up if you feel bad about it. I know, but I feel bad that like, I kind of had like a sleepy moment, which really, why, why is it Fatal Frame? It, like, I do like these games. It's just, they're a lot more, they're a lot slower paced than other horror games that I'm used to playing. Like, this didn't happen to me during Silent Hill. This didn't happen to me during, um, this didn't ha yeah, this didn't happen to me during Silent Hill, and this didn't happen to me during, uh, fucking Tormented Souls or Resident Evil. So, why does it always happen with Fatal Frame? I don't know. I don't know if it's like, Max, this is a hint that you don't actually like these games. And I, I, do, I do like these games. So far, though, okay. So far, in terms of controls and stuff, I don't know the history of, um... See, I don't know the logistics of, did Lunar Eclipse have the idea first, and then Made in a Blackwater did it better? Or, did Lunar Eclipse have its own mechanics, and Made in a Blackwater had it, and then, with the, rem uh, with the remake... They, um, which I, I noticed a lot of the textures are still very pixelated-y, so I don't know how much of a remake it is or a port. There's a difference, but I'm not going to worry too hard about it. Um, I don't know if it has these mechanics because Man of Blackwater has it, or if it, if Man of Blackwater has it because this game has it. It's a little weird. It's the, it's the whole thing of, like, when a game is released separately in a different country, you know, and like doesn't come over until like years later kind of like with um i always forget it's the the first final fantasy that hit america was like the fourth one or something like that it, it, it was it was something like that um so as a result there's like well this is final fantasy one but really it's final fantasy five or like you know whatever whatever the amount is but um yeah i don't really know the order of it that being said so Kind of oddly consistent with what I've said before. Man of Blackwater still plays better. Um, I still, I'm going to be honest. I don't like the mechanics of having different. Um, I had a way to fix this in my head, but I don't remember exactly what it was. Because I remember talking about this in the past. That like, I really don't like how the, uh, I really don't like how in these games, when they, when they have you play separate characters, which has happened now in three, four, and five, which, or, well, you know, three, like, three Maiden Lunar, right? That, like, the uh, upgrades do not carry over. That shit drives me nuts. Like, the, they either need to have it so that, like, ah, uh, okay. Uh, like, how, how, how would you do it, Max? I would have them, hmm. Okay, there's one of the few ways I would do it. W one, basically everyone's money and uh, like upgrade materials are pooled. So like, so that way if there are different upgrades, like, okay, so let's just make up something. You have $10 and two shards. So I use them on the first girl. We then go to the second girl. I still have $10 and two shards. So use them however you want. And then the third person, you have ten dollars and you know, okay, so let's say every level you get two and two, right? So ten ten dollars, two shards, you spend them. You go to the next person. Well you get now you have twelve shard or twelve dollars and four shards. Use them however you want. Get to the next person. Well you have sixteen dollars and six shards. Like it's different people, but you hold the same money. And it seems like we hold the same money, but not the same upgrade pieces. So I'm kinda ifsy on that. Like I just, I don't like feel, I think everyone has their own amount of shards. I think that's how they're doing it. Or, you know, the blue shards and the red shards. But, like, I just don't like the feeling of having to manage three people's inventory. Because I don't know who I'm going to use the most anyway. So, like, 
maybe it's totally fine. I don't realize it, but I, I, I would hope the, I wish the game would be a little bit more like upfront with that. But otherwise, though, aesthetics that like they don't really focus on the gore aspect of it yet. Like mostly because people are just like falling over. They fall over. They cover their face, and they're dead. Like. We haven't had people ripped apart with ropes, stabbed with needles, massacred by knife or fire. Like, it's been psychological, which is interesting. I like that. It's definitely a change of pace. And a lot of the people we fought in terms of, like, aesthetics, they're just, du they're just dudes. They're just people. We haven't really seen anyone massacred yet and still coming towards us. So I'm pretty excited for how that's going to escalate. I mean, we just saw the fully blossomed one who i'm gonna assume is the dancer from the cutscenes. but um so far i'm interested yeah i am interested i just whoa hey yo, get that shit get that shit out of here okay i don't know if you guys saw that but um basically at the top of the screen i didn't even think of it it just like it genuinely scared me um at the top okay if we're gonna do quadrants if, if it's a clock Yo, between uh, noon and three, sideways, just the face of a ghost girl just showed up and went, like, literally, it was just, like, head sideways going, Hey, how's it going? Like, oh, that, that actually, I mean, I remember the other Fail Frame games did that, too. Like, if you left on the pause screen or something too long, or not the pause screen, but, like, any of the menus, like, one of them was, like, bloody hands, one was faces, one, ugh. But, see, those, those didn't directly show a detailed face. This time it did, and now I'm freaked out. Now I feel like it's when I'm playing Dead by Daylight and you play a Sadako, and every now and then she just, like, jump scares your ass. You're just like, what the fuck? But, um... Oh, that, that genuinely creeped me out. Oh, fuck. But, um... Yeah, so far I do like this game. I just feel bad that I get sleepy during them. But, hey, you know, I haven't been sleeping well for the past few days, so it's probably that. I shouldn't beat myself up. But, that being said, I hope you guys had fun. I do really enjoy these games, even if they are a bit more slow-paced, contemplative kinds of experiences. And now I'm watching for that ghost girl to come back up. If it shows up again before we end the stream, I'll, I'll stop and show it. Um, but let's end the episode off here. Uh, next time we stream will be on Friday. We're going to be continuing with Wolong Fallen Dynasty. I haven't decided if it's a VTuber day or not. I'm really excited about that game. We spent the whole last episode figuring out exactly what our strategy in life is going to be. So I think it's going to be really fun because we figured it out what we wanted to do. And um, I think we'll do every other. So on Monday, we will continue with Fatal Frame. Uh, What's this game called? Mask of the, Ritual of the Ma Mask of the Lunar Eclipse? Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. That'll be on Monday. And we'll, we'll, we'll go back to doing every other. And at some, And I keep saying this, but at some point in time... We'll do the Resident Evil S Plus Professional playthrough, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, now switch. We'll be on Twitter and Discord because I suck at social media. The violence will be put on YouTube relatively quickly. Someday I'll work on highlights again. I've been feeling really lazy this week, so I haven't. And as a general sidebar, I was part of a podcast with the Infinite Ammo Syndicate. Uh, I will post it in the Discord. Um, I already retweeted it, so if you check either Twitter or the Discord, they're there. And, uh, yeah, I got to sit there and talk about Resident Evil 4 as a remake for five hours. It was a pretty good time, honestly. I really enjoyed it. I wasn't a VTuber. It's all audio. But we need to end the episode off here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have fun. I know I did. I'm going to turn this thing here just in case the ghost face shows up because, really, that shit was creepy as all get out. And, um, yeah, let's end the episode off here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have fun. I know I did. And I will see you then thanks for coming jokes on you kids i'm gonna turn all right i'm gonna end game because i don't want her to jump out and scare me yeah thanks so much for coming boy oh whoa. oh turn back to that